Hello. <laughs> Oh, uh, there we go. Ah, jeez. Ah, <laughs> oh, hell of a day today. Hell of a day. But we are back. We are on. We are ready. We're good to go. It is Wednesday. It is hump day. Uh, not many people care for Wednesdays. But it does mean that you're that much closer to the weekend. That's how I see it. You're that much closer to the weekend. <laughs> uh, so keep giving it your best effort and you'll be able to make it. Welcome back to Elden Ring. Oh, man. Uh, so I have, an I have an itinerary. I'm going to try and stick to an itinerary today. Because last time we, went l we got in a little sidetracked before we ultimately reached our like primary goal for the evening. We still managed to get get there in due time. Just it just took a little longer than expected because there was like ooh shiny ooh shiny ooh shiny ooh shiny ooh shiny ooh shiny yeah that whole thing <laughs> that whole bit. Uh, but tonight we're gonna try and see if we can get there like a little bit quicker because I do have a plan for tonight in particular. Um, but let's go ahead and get right to the recap. Of what I've been doing off stream. Not a whole lot. I didn't really get too many chances to actually play off stream this week. Um, it's really fucking busy. Evo was also this weekend as well. Um, there was like a, like we, if you recall, I was part of a couple of collabs as well. Um, it's really fucking busy last week. So I didn't really get too many chances to actually like sit down and spend a whole lot of time on this. But I was able to get a couple things. Was able to, to uh, uh, touch base on a couple of things at the very least. First off, I went back to that one tower past the fucking Eye of Sauron spot that we had to deal with a few sessions back, and I was confused by it because the only hint we had was may erudition guide thee or something to that effect, and there was like no clues. I had no idea what it was a puzzle of sorts, and I couldn't really tell what I needed in order to, like, complete that puzzle. So I revisited that place, and I saw a message that said, like, try clothing and then gesture, or something to that effect. And it was wearing a specific garb. So I'm like, okay, do I have this garb? And it's like, yeah, it's all Ray Lucari, because, like, all this talk about erudition is, like, specifically... Uh, it feels targeted towards Rhea Lucaria, at the very least, because they're all about erudition and whatnot, knowledge, and all that other weird science-y shit. <laughs> weird space science. Mm. So I'm looking through, and I'm like, okay, how many things of Rhea Lucarian gear do I actually have? And how much do I need to figure this out? And I was like, yeah, Figure, trying to figure it out. Like, I think I had everything. I was trying to, I thought I had more Rhea Lucari pieces. But uh, it's like, yeah, that's, I think that's about what, all I had. So apparently this is like, so now, next step was to try and figure out the gesture. And I was like, okay, what gesture would actually work here? Um, so it's like just going through the list of what I have. I accidentally took one off. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> uh, like fumbling with buttons. Uh, and then I was just like, okay, what would a Rhea Lucarian student use as a gesture? And I was like, going through all my options here, trying a different, few different things. And I was like, no, no, no. Oh, wait. And then I was like, wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, oh, yeah, trying a couple more first. And I was just like, mostly kind of looking at names and seeing what would apply. Like, maybe Rapture. And then I found Erudition. And I was like, wait a minute. Erudition guide thee. So, gave that a shot. Huzzah! I just fucking stood there for like a solid 30 seconds or some shit. I'm, and I was like, how? 
How the fuck do people find this shit out? <laughs> How the actual fuck do people find this shit out? Like, holy shit. Yeah, armament required, gesturing required. And I was like, yeah, I definitely made sure to upvote that message for sure. Because, like... Uh, I have no idea how people figure that shit out. I have no idea. I imagine someone was just like, okay, this is going to be a little bit of trial and error and just trying different things. And eventually they found the right combination. Mm. Based on that hint. And, uh, oh, hello. Yeah. I recognize those fucking things. Yeah, and it was just getting ready to attack, too. It was just getting ready to attack. I don't know if... I, it looked hostile. I don't... I don't think it was friendly. I, it was, I'm pretty sure it was hostile. Or it was going to be hostile. In a hot second. So... Yeah, fucking taking that thing out quick. <laughs> uh, so it was like, jeez, yeah, the fucking all this time. That was that was it. Like, I mean, yeah, because it requires, it definitely requires you to have actually gone through Ray Lucaria at some point, because you need the gear and then you need to find the emote at some point. And it's like that is a very specific combination of stuff. <laughs> And we got Cannon of Haima and Gav Gavel of Haima. Right, because I think I actually get the... I think you get... Do you get the emote from the one jail? Oh, I'm not sure. I forget where I got the emote from. Anyway, Cannon. One of the glintstone sorceries of Rhea Lucaria. Lobs an explosive magic projectile that flies in an arc. Charging enhances potency. <laughs> Drawn from the Conspectus of Haima, the adjudicator... Of the academy, the sorcery employs might as a means to quell conflict. So I remember there was, I remember now, there was a boss fight in a jail that had like these, I think they had these two spells in particular. Yeah, Gavel of Hyma, and yeah, giant fucking fuck off hammer. <laughs> so that, figure that one out. Figure that out, and oh boy, was it a fucking, that was a fucking doozy. So, the other thing I decided to re revisit was the mausoleum that was over at the other end of the lake. And I was trying, we, I found that off stream, and I was like, wait, what's going on with this thing? What the fuck is going on with this? And I could not figure out for the longest time how to get on there because there was there wasn't there, normally with the mausoleums there's like skulls on the legs that you have to crack in order to cause it to collapse not the case for this one so for this one you actually have to wait for it to get to a specific spot and utilize a nearby spear spring to be able to do this without having to risk falling off yeah <laughs> just like that it took this it took a few tries to do this because i actually had to wait for it to get in a suitable position for me to be able to land on and yeah it's actually moving pretty close to the cliff side which you can probably wait for it to get a little bit closer to that cliff and then try to hop onto it from there but that probably also would that would probably also take a good amount of time to accomplish. And yeah, I think I bet that by this point it was falling down. By this point it was falling. So yeah. Mausoleum unlocked. <laughs> uh, Mausolearnia Lake Mausoleum has been, has been opened for business. <laughs> so we go on in. Yep, it is in fact a mausoleum. And yeah, we we can reuse one more of the previous rem remembrances that we unlocked in the past. Uh I think it did the yeah, I think it did the natural born one because there was another thing that I wanted to get at the very least. Even if it was if, even if it was a weapon that I wasn't really gonna use, I wanted to try and get that again at the end. 
Because uh, I think I still have... No, wait. I think I burned the extra Renala one I had. Or if I hadn't, I probably burned it not too long afterwards. I have to double check and see. Uh, Alright. And last thing, I revisited the fucking Swampy Castle. And then, because I remember someone mentioned, a couple of people mentioned actually, that there was something on the outskirts of that castle that uh, I, I missed out on last time. So I, I revisited that place. And I was like, oh, there's something over here, actually. This big, this giant empty landmass with a lot of statues. A lot of statues around here. Let me see. And, yeah. And there was a message, there was a singular message that said duo ahead. And I was like, okay, there's a giant. That's, where is there, is there a second person? And yeah, I literally did not even catch... The second person running up there. Male Marius? Yeah, not really much of a fight, thankfully. Went down pretty quickly. And then trying to make sure I stay out of reach of the giant. And Ant Spur, Rapier, Marai Mask, and Marai Robe. The giant's real, though. The giant is really, is super fucking real. Giant is super fucking real. As most of these fucking things usually are. Like, I don't even know how I managed to get through the fucking flames there. Yeah, using Bloodhound Step. Pre-nerf Bloodhound Step, <laughs> mind you. Pre-nerf Bloodhound Step. Yeah, they did. There was a patch that came out yesterday. Uh, I think it was yesterday, actually. Yeah, yeah, it was yesterday. Literally yesterday, a patch came out. Uh, that m made uh, co online multiplayer easier to match up. Um, in that same patch, uh, yeah, Bloodhound Step got nerfed. Bloodhound Step actually got nerfed. <laughs> uh, it's like what they did was they made it like they made it so that you couldn't spam it rep repeatedly, and they also kind of reduced the range of the dash. If you're wearing heavy armor, uh, but the, but boosted the actual distance that you can move if you're wearing light armor. Uh, but I haven't had a chance to really mess with the nerfed version yet, but we'll, we'll probably so see how bad it is at some point tonight. Uh, but yeah, the Ansper Rapier and is a thrusting sword that causes scarlet rot. This this is, to my knowledge, this is the first weapon that I've, I've actually acquired that actually inflicts rot. By default. And that's fucking huge. That is fucking huge. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty solid rapier as well. It is a very solid rapier. Uh, yeah, spur, spur of a giant ant which has been fashioned into a rapier. The blade drips with Scarlet Rot. Scarlet Rot is an old legend of which Malay Murray of the Shaded Castle was a private believer. And indeed, he eventually found his own personal goddess. Uh, yeah, so it was like, this guy loved the Rot of so much, he founded, like, his own belief system surrounding it. And, like, that actually... Actually, now that I think about it, like, I think that explains, like, the portrait of Melania. Uh, if, if, if that's right, I forget her name, like, Melania? Is that it? Uh, the portrait that we found in that fucking boss room. Mm. It might explain that, actually. Um, and then I just, and then after that, I was, like, looking, uh, we picked up the armor as well. Uh, yeah, Mask in the image of a white-haired young noble, customarily worn by the head of House Marais, increases arcane. So we have another thing that increases arcane. Not as good as the thing we're using right now, but it also doesn't have any physical detriments. Uh, the Marai family has a dual history spanning generations, serving as both executioners and castellans of the Shaded Castle. 
The mask bears the likeness of the first of their line. So, yeah, a whole line of these particular nobles. And I think I was looking for the body piece, and I was like, couldn't find it for the longest while for some reason or another. There it is, Mirai robe. Uh, the, 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 the son of the house Marais are all sickly born. Little wonder that Malay Marais would be so beguiled by the beautiful and fierce goddess who was born into rot. Yep. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. La big simp for... Big simp. Big simp for millennia. <laughs> big simp. <laughs> Oh, uh, I've uh, we're going to we're going to encounter her at some point. We're going to encounter her at some point. And yeah, as I mentioned, yeah, I went in there previously um and uh, went back into the castle area and got a couple uh, cleaned up a little bit more, found a perfume bottle so we can get an extra perfume thing in and a sword, stone sword key from the little uh little cliffside jump puzzle there. So yeah, a couple things that were definitely worth going back in for. Again, not a whole lot, but at the same time, a few things definitely of interest. <laughs> uh, and now we are caught up, and yeah, I was messing with a different like equipment loadouts because I have this, and I also have this that I picked up a while ago. And I was like, never really utilized it because it's dex based. Well, it was like, it's, de it's, I can't really change the arcane stuff on it. I can't really change it to arcane. Uh, but I figured, let's try this as an offhand at the very least. This I could actually change to arcane scaling. <laughs> and I can infl put on another sort uh, weapon art or Ash of War on it. Like, say, something that. At, inflicts poison on top of scarlet rot. <laughs> mm. So, multiple levels of status ailments getting built up very quickly. <laughs> and I, I put on the talisman to help raise my dexterity to a point where I can actually use them effectively without having to respec. So, Definitely got something going here. Definitely got something going here. I need more upgrade materials to be able to like actually make it work. But I messed with it a little bit and I was like, yeah, okay, there's potential here. There's potential here. <laughs> uh, so we'll mess with that for a little bit. And if stuff gets a little too dicey, then we can pull out the dual scythes at the very least. So you're probably wondering why I'm over in uh, this neck of the woods. That's because I kind of realized that I... Uh, missed out on something a while back. Whoop, didn't mean it. I missed out. Because, like, when I first came over to the fucking main academy gate, I kind of had a brain fart. Because I thought I couldn't progress past cert those seals. It turns out I actually can. Turns out you totally fucking can. And there's, like, two different stretches of land I didn't think to explore previously. And I only found this out by, like, watching uh, n another person, someone's uh, Let's Play. And they were like, they explored this area. I was like, wait, how, you can go past that? You can go past that? And then I immediately felt felt stupid. But we're gonna we're gonna rectify that. We're gonna rectify that today. Golden seed. And there's a lot of blood stains. Cliff ahead. What's the mean all of these blood stains are people trying to see if they can uh, land on that? Bridge down below, which it looks like a pretty fucking heavy drop. Is there even anything on this bridge? Let's see. Yeah, I, I I don't see any creatures on it, so I don't think you can actually. I don't think it's actually like meant to be hopped onto. Like maybe if you have enough uh, fall resistance, you could probably make it. Uh, a torrent. 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 <laughs> uh, Torrent, are you okay? What seems to be the problem? <laughs> oh, this game is 
silly. This game is silly. I love it. I don't know. I'll come back there. Maybe come back there at some point and, like, experiment. See if I can actually get down there or not. There might be a way on there. And, uh, here's another curiosity. This thing. This thing right here. What is this? Yeah, be summoned to assist Yura, Hunter of Bloody Fingers. Yeah! I apparently missed this as well! I apparently fucking missed this also! Hey there, Corpse Eater, how you doing? Thank you for speaking by. Hope you've had a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Oh, there it is. <laughs> you did that on purpose. You did. You delayed that on purpose, didn't you? <laughs> Catching me off guard. Uh, how you doing, Corpse Eater? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so apparently this is something you can also do over here, which... Yeah, I was wondering when we were do be able to do something with Yura again, and apparently it's right over here. So, fuck me. Possibly. <laughs> I'm always going to get caught off guard by that. I'm never going to get to the point where I'm used to that being a thing, you know? I'm never going to get used to that. All right, so, uh, yeah! Let's uh, give Yura an assist. Doing good, having fun yet? We're just getting started, actually. We're just getting started. So, and starting off with some interesting scenarios here. Defeat Lady Figure Raven Mount Assassin. All right, and yeah, this uh, will be a good. This will be a good test for the this particular weapon loadout. Oh, there we go. There we go. Whoa. Uh, doesn't not a whole lot of stamina usage either, so I can like really go in on this. Whoa. Okay, you're real though. You are in fact real. Oh, you bitch. Uh, oh yeah, poisoned. Yep, they're poisoned. Yep. Oh yeah, poisoned and rotted. Now if we can just get frost. Yeah. Look at how much. Look at that. Oh. Oh, if we can just get frost on you too. Whoop! There we go. Yeah, that's fucking like nasty. That's a nasty combination. <laughs> uh, GG's, Yura. Mm. Always down to help a com help a comrade. Ooh, Raptor of the Mists. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. You're, you just immediately move over there. Huh. Well, that's convenient. Saves me from having to look for you. Uh, let's see. Uh, Raven of the Mist. Here we go. Duck into a low stance, momentarily vanishing. If an enemy attack connects, avian wings will allow for a quick escape into the air. I feel like I've done. I feel like I have a weapon that has this on it. Uh, actually, well, let's see. Well, I may have like a. Let me see. I feel like I have a weapon that has something like this. Uh, ring of light. Okay, well, that's so, something something like that. Angel's wings. Yeah, that's a little bit similar at the very least. But that seems like a counter state. Actually, you Please you okay? Don't leave me be. You okay, Yura? Likely madness and short visions of chaos. You uh, you want a hug? Oh, oh. it's you. Thanks for your help. There. That bloody finger was a thorn in my side. And now I'm finally rid of him. Here's a token of thanks. Please, take it. Smithing Stone 5. I may not have much time. I'm dying to see you. Eleonora. Violet bloody finger. Mmm, Eleonora. Bro ain't feeling so hot. Yeah, nah, he's uh feeling he's getting a little uh ragged, I think. Yes, I've been tracking Eleonora for quite some time. She is the deadliest of all bloody fingers. She's felled many an old hand already, but 
in spite of her cess-blood zealotry. Eleonora is a proud knight. If she comes for you, do not think twice. You must flee. There is no shame in self-preservation. No shame in self-preservation. Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet. Uh, Be on your way. Perhaps we... Yeah, okay, so... I will admit I cheated a little bit on this one because I was when I initially saw this event because uh, I was like, where it, El, Ellen that like that name sounds familiar Eleonora I think it was like the name sounded familiar, to, uh, and I couldn't quite place where like maybe I saw it on a piece of gear or something at some point, and apparently she I was able to find out where she spawns. We a she actually appears at. Well, let's actually look a little bit further in this direction first, because there is a couple other things down this way. There is a couple of other, a couple other things that we can take a look at. Uh oh, like these wolves, like those wolves, for instance. Uh, let's do axe. There we go. There we go. Yeah, because, like, I imagine they're all gonna, like, aggro onto me at some point. Uh. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, there we. Hello. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Okay. Uh, there we go. Cease. Oh, there we go. Hi, how are you? Oh, there was another sm smaller dog there. Ow, jeez. Oh, you are you are actually hurting. Sometimes I forget how squishy I am with this build. Like, sometimes I legitimately forget how squishy I am. There we go. Alright. And at the tail end of all of this silliness. Yep. There you are. Well, it's been an age. How can I help? Another shop. Yeah, here we go. All right, so let's go ahead and clean this dude out. Uh, ooh. Ooh, yeah, sleep bone arrows. Yeah, definitely. I've not been able to craft those. So, fuck yeah. And sp speaking of which, grab those. Uh, meteor bolts. Uh, well, okay, yeah, unlimited number of those. I have Eula. Uh, three Trina's lilies. Lost Ash of War, so let's grab that. Faint Imp Ashes. If I recall correctly, this is a starting item that you can actually pick. Um, so, grab that. Uh, how am I doing? Okay, let's get these first. The Preceptor Secrets. Oh. Ooh. Grab that. Probably stuff that we already know at this point. Know about Revenants. And know about Frenzied Flame Village. Uh, some extra twigs. Extra stone sword keys. And yeah, it just sells the uh, nomadic gear that we started with. And then sell some bloody curled fingers. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, ah, here we go. Let's see, Preceptor Silvis is hiding a dirty secret in a cellar among the ruins not far from the Sisters Three. The vile graven witch seems to be a frequent visitor to that place. Yeah, okay, so this is how we get... The, I guess this is how you would initially get no, uh, notified about the uh, secret room. Uh, yeah, in the cellar. I guess this is how you would find out about his little uh, puppet factory. Ah, uh, yes, cockering of the elderly. <laughs> Uh, how you doing, Stolas? Yo, how, how you doing? Thank you for swinging by. Hope you're doing well and hope you've had a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. <laughs> mm. Uh, how you doing? How you doing? 
They're bloody finger licking good. <laughs> exactly. Uh, gravity's advantage. Uh, revenants. The crawling royal revenants and their followers are all cursed. Healing par powers will harm rather than mend. Okay, that's actually good to know. And then frenzied flame village. Yeah, south of the grand lift of Dectus lies the frenzied. Okay, we we stumbled across this, so I guess this is like help. This is to help, like keep guide you in the right direction. <laughs> uh, let's see. There was a couple other things. Yeah, I think that's those are like the main things that we were able to get for the time being. Can I make those sleep arrows? Ah. Magic bone. Sleep bone, here we go. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. We stock on some of the stock up on some of this shit. Uh yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, stock up on some of that shit. <laughs> Cause that's gonna come in handy. That is more than likely going to come in handy. Uh, Puppet Factory? Do tell. Oh, do tell more. Oh, yeah. Um, slight spoiler if, spoiler if you haven't come across. Oh, right. Hold that thought, actually. Hold that thought, actually. There we go. Yeet! Oh, you- oh, you actually dodged. Okay, right, you actually know how to dodge. Fuck. Okay, yep, you're still real. Right, you're still real. You are still very real. Oh, that bleed is gonna- That bleed is gonna be a problem in a sec. Oop. Oh, you're poisoned though. Not rotted, but you are poisoned. Whoop. Whoop. Fuck. Okay, yeah, this is actually. Whoop. Oh, I don't know how that missed me. There we go. Whoof. Ah. All right. Sorry, I had to focus on trying to take care of that. Oh yeah, that was a bait. That was bait for sure. And what is over here? Celestial do. So free absolution if we need it. <laughs> Working and took a small break to check around. Hey, appreciate you swinging by on your uh, while you're taking a break. Really appreciate that. Everything is a spoiler if you're dumb enough. Oh, yeah. uh, didn't get anywhere yet, but I know the lore partially. Okay, so like, uh, basically, Sullivan he's like the one of uh, Ronnie's uh, tenants. Uh, he wor works with Ronnie, um, but he's kind of a dick. He's kind of a dick, and turns out he has a bit of a uh, puppet factory of sorts, where he kind of. It seems to imply that he kidnaps people and turns them into puppets. So that message, that message we picked up from that ven, uh, uh, nomad, that vendor, likely hints at that exact, that very specific place. All right. So let's let me put the sights on because, like, I was gonna say, like, the next step is. Yeah, I mentioned I cheated a little bit and looked up where we can find Eleonora at. So let's prepare accordingly. Here we go. And switch that. There we go. Okay. And this will also give us a good chance to kind of try, uh, try out the uh, nerfed Bloodhound step. So apparently she appears at the Second Church of Marika. So, we'll pop over here. So, what you're saying is there's someone that is impersonating me in this game. <laughs> I guess I guess if you put it a certain way, yeah. If you put it in that way, yeah. They, they're they uh, trying to... They're trying to j jack your style. They're trying to jack your style. <laughs> but, he, but, currently, Sylvus is... 
already been taken care of. So, yeah, no need to worry about that. Sylvus has already been taken care of. So, you're good. You're good. <laughs> uh, I will not give any spoiler spoilers on what happens at that at that point. But yeah, for that one, you're gonna have to go through that. Uh, that you're gonna you're gonna have to go through that one on your own, or check the vod, or you can check the vod. That's also an option. <laughs> uh, let's see. So apparently, the second church is where Eleonora pops up at. Let's see. Yeah, I may need to clear some of these uh, rot dogs out first. Free factory to take over. Hell yeah, the there you go. Has found the cemetery. Hello! Your Emperor 719, hello! Thank you, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the spooky zone. <laughs> uh, thank you for the follow, and I hope you're having a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. Uh, so... Here's the thing. I know there's that one bleeder. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Yura? Oh no. Yura? Oh no. Oh no, Yura. It seems I am no match for you, but I've learned a thing or two myself. You see, I've sliced the finger off. Oh. Please, Eleonora. Yield to the Cessna no longer. Do not stain the immaculacy of your soul. Your flesh. Your fire. Can we get F's and trap for Europe? Oh, hold that fucking thought! Hold that fucking thought! Alright. Huh! Okay, it's... There we go. Okay, so it... The distance ner traveled is definitely noticeable, but it's not that bad. It's actually not as bad. Oh, you're out of sips, huh? Aha! That's for Yura! That was for Yura. <sighs> Take care, brave warrior. Saw a clip of you and thought your model is awesome. Thank you so much, Emperor. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Sorry, it's like I was like really distracted because like holy shit, stuff's happening. Stuff is fucking happening. <laughs> uh, purifying crystal tear. Eleonora's pole blade. Ooh. All right. Well, let's examine these. We also got your sword. Uh, which should be a katana? Nagakiba. Causes blood loss. Uh, signature weapon of Yura, the Hunter of Bloody Fingers. Reminiscent of a reinforced spear, its imposing length can be put to good use with a powerful thrusting attacks. And has piercing fang. Oh, that's a unique skill. Uh, used by Yura. Starting with the blade held horizontally, make a powerful thrust that cannot be blocked. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I don't have nearly the stats to utilize it. I could probably show it show it off a bit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, unable to use effectively. Yeah, we can at least see if we can show off the moveset. I have arrived to steal all of your perfectly timed rolls. <laughs> uh, well, thankfully, Bloodhound Step getting, get, didn't get nerfed too badly. Thankfully, Bloodhound Step get, didn't get nerfed too badly. <laughs> How you doing, Halber? Thank you for swinging by and hope you've had a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. Also, yeah, this, this sword is fucking humongous. This is a goofy-ass long blade. Like, holy shit. La yeah, yeah, this is like making me think back to the fucking washing pole. 
God. Okay, and the skill. Wow. Oh, that travels far. Yeah, that travels pretty fucking far. Holy shit. And that cannot be blocked. Cannot be blocked. Huh. If I was using a more appropriate build, then yeah, I might actually consider using that. Might actually consider using that. And then Eleanor's Pole Blade. 21 decks. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can probably... It is a twin blade. I can probably use it if I put that uh, dex thing on. Twins Naginata, forged in the land of reeds. Chosen weapon of Eleanor, Violet Bloody Finger. Her mastery of the sword was such that her onslaught was likened to a whirlwind. And now her legacy is stained by a cursed blood. Bloodblade Dance. Leap at foe to perform a flurry of tornado-like attacks. Follow up with an additional input to perform an attack that ends in an invasive maneuver. Okay. So... Yeah, twin blades, so gotta be held with both hands for full effect. Still need to replay this. I want to do a bleed build with the Wheel of Deals. Wait, Wheel of Deals? You mean the pizza cutter? Uh, can you build that with the pizza cutter? Can you make it? Hold on, can you actually make it do bleed with the pizza cutter? Or is there another weapon that I'm thinking that does allows you to do that that I may not have found yet? Because there's probably a lot of weapons I haven't encountered yet. <laughs> yeah, that's a twin blade move set. That is very much a twin. Ooh, ooh, I like that. I like that. Hey, that looks sick. Ooh, yeah, and there's the evade portion. There's the evade. Ooh, yeah, there it is. I can't really do the actual special ability because I don't have the stats, but that is pretty sick. And it does bleed build up. It also does bleed build up. And scales an arcane. I'm getting all of this arcane stuff, and I'm like, you are very much trying to tempt me, aren't you, game? You are very much trying to tempt me right now. <laughs> oh... Darth Maul root. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, the pizza cutter? Yeah. Uh, uh, I got around here somewhere. What was it classified as again? Uh, it was, uh, ah, here we go. Giza's wheel. Okay, yeah. Colossal weapon. Oh, yeah, it does, it, it does do, that's right, it does do blood loss, uh, by, uh, by default. That's right, it does. <laughs> it does do blood loss by default. Uh, okay, yeah, that, you can totally do a bleed build off that then. You could, you could totally do a bleed build off that then. Wheel of Deals, is that what people are calling it? Is that what people are calling it? <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Also, I picked up a new physic. Uh, purifies the Lord of Blood's curse. Wait, what? Excuse me? Crystal tears found slowly over the ages. Uh, ba -ba. The resulting concoction purifies the curse from Mog, Lord of Blood's terrifying rite of blood. Huh. I haven't fought a Mog yet, to my knowledge? But, sure. That might come in handy. <laughs> that might come in handy. Why not? Why the fuck not? <laughs> uh, we'll see if I need to use it. That's uh, that's why I call it. Ah, okay. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. Let's travel back over to the volcano area because that is the main area that I wanted to like hit up for this evening. So let's get right over to it. Also, I need, let me t also I hear my cat and she is throwing a fit. So give me a sec. Let me tend to my cat real fast. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it was in fact Cory making such a fuss. <laughs> mm. And she was making such a fuss. <laughs> All right, oh, so she's in the room now, and uh, hopefully she behaves. You're you are gonna behave, right, Corey? Are you looking for your shoelace? Yeah, the shoelace is on the bed. Your shoelace is on the bed. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I wanted to come back here because this is kind of like the starting point, and there's definitely some stuff that I want to look at. Um, first off, there's this. What's this? Have you weakened the rising with us? Um, okay, so I'm going to assume... I, I didn't initially accept this, their proposition, because I wasn't sure if this was going to, uh, interfere with the, uh, pact that I've made with Ronnie. Because, like, right now, we are... Right, lo like hard locked on Ronnie right now. Um, and I didn't know if joining with them would interfere with that. Um, cause like, uh, well, mm, okay. So I'm assuming like maybe joining him will probably not interfere with anything initially if we progress any further in their like storyline or whatever might be a different story i don't know feel free to tell me otherwise like i am fully open to oh, of <laughs> sorry cat yeah it's like i don't think like in just joining them will cause any conflicts um I'm, like feel free to tell me if i'm wrong um but shouldn't at the very least uh but i'm gonna say like yeah let's go ahead and join them for a little bit at the very least and see what they're all about well. your decision is most welcome now you belong to the volcano manor family the drawing room lies down the hall make yourself comfortable drawing room key hey there we go and so at least this way we can kind of explore more of the manor. I believe it's this room. Oh, can I? Okay, maybe not this room. Uh, oh, okay, actually, it might be down this way. Which one of these is the drawing room? Ah, here we go. Although maybe like the more you do, the more you can open up. Um, this room's occupied. Is that okay? It, 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 is it, is it fine? Are we cool? I think they're, I think they're okay with it. Uh, hidden path ahead. Uh, hey, perfume a bottle. Sure. Hidden path ahead. Oh. Oh, is this the, uh, oh, okay, right. This is the thing that requires you to actually, if I, so if I remember correctly, like, I remember seeing footage of someone having to, like, beat down on, like, this wall, like, 50 to 100 times or something to break it. Um, and it reveals, like, a hidden room. Um, that, but people have speculated that it was not intended to be like that because it, the wall doesn't disappear the way it normally would. Um, also, I can't attack anyway, so that might actually... We're going to have to, like, hold off on that a little bit. See if they haven't patched that yet. I don't know if they've patched that yet. Locked shut. Um, do you have... Yeah, yeah, those, there's a dead body in the room, by the way. No comment on the dead body, huh? No comment on the dead body. All right, then. Fair enough. Uh, let's see. See if anything else is... Oh, here we go. I guess another... There's, like, multiple drawing rooms, apparently. Angel ahead. Didn't expect love. Uh, the one's in here. Could this be a lover, therefore whole? 
Okay. Lovable sort of head. No one's in here, though. I don't know. Maybe I need to reload the area for that to apply. Okay. So far, only one of these. Oh, there you are. There you are. Hey, how's it going? Hello again. Been a while. Brave tarnished. As a scout, I am pleased to see you again here at the Volcano Manor under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brave tarnished under Lady Tanith. Nothing else to say, huh? Okay, well, yeah, glad to glad to be here, and thanks for the invite. <laughs> night required ahead. Is it night right now? It is night right now. It is evening. Hey, you look like a badass. You. What in heaven's name are you doing here? The Volcano Manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace and hunt our own kind. So why are you here, then? I understand the weight of my words. Uh... Then you must leave. Those with weak stomachs have no place here. All right, fuck you too, I guess. Ooh, another letter. Recusant finger? What the? Oh, intense invasion of another play. Oh, this is a PvP area. This is like a PvP covenant. Okay. Uh, you'll arrive as an invader, recusant, with the objective of de defeating the host. Uh, covered in snake scales, an heirloom to the lord of the volcano manor, bequeathed to tarnish who have become family. Ah, so, okay, so I see what it is. I see what their deal is now. They're very much, this is a P, like a PvP covenant of sorts. In short, didn't expect traitor. Likely pathetic sorts. So someone appears there at some point. Uh, interesting. Yeah, go, might as well open that up. Yeah, okay. I, I had a feeling like this was like very much a heavy combat oriented uh, place. Raise the snake. Snake. Uh, but yeah, it's like um, I didn't know it was essentially a PvP covenant. Or at least that's what it feels like. Also, I picked up another letter. Picked up another letter. Uh, bu 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 bu. Is it over on this side? Uh, yes. Uh, that's. I think this is the one. Yeah, given by Rhea. That's the one I got. And this is a uh, wait. Old Knight Eastfawn. Old Knight Eastfawn. It can be found in Limgrave. Find the red mark on your map for the exact location. I really? There's a. Huh. Uh, in Limgrave? Oh, oh, that red mark. Okay. Well, that's hard to. M okay, that's hard to miss. I I appreciate that they actually marked it. Marked it. I do appreciate that they marked it. Wait, didn't I kick that person's ass? Didn't that person try to invade me and I fucking beat the shit out? Well, actually, they beat the shit out of me a couple times, but it's like I think I, I think we ended up beating them at some. Uh, after a couple attempts. Hmm? Oh, hold on. That's right, I picked up an extra seed. Yeah. Uh, allocate. There we go. Eight and five seems like a good spread. Uh, memorize spell. Uh, let's see. I think we can kind of... Uh, I think we're good with this for right now. For right now. Does anything switch up? Do you have Did anything you now? The letter left for you. That is the task the Volcano Manor desires you enact. You will be compensated once the deed is done. Good luck. If you are loath to hunt your own kin, so be it. But you must leave this house at once. This is a war against the Erd Tree. We have no place for the meek. Nor the luxury of keeping clean hands. Point made. No place for weakness. Okay, anything cha ain't changing? Doesn't seem like much changes. Yeah, okay. 
So I guess I find this Isvan person and give them their invite. All right. <laughs> uh, cannot open from this side. All right. Well then, that's interesting. Beware of danger. Yeah, well done. Okay. All right. So, uh, now what I want to try and do is I need to try and figure out how to get down there. That's where I want to try and find. Let's see. I wonder if I can, like, there's a way that I can, like, hop down somewhere. Joy ahead. No horse ahead. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think I need to get down there. Um, but there should be, yeah, because there's Alexander's message. Uh,. Have to head further down. Yeah, there's his message. So I guess we just gotta get down. Just gotta drop down further. Just gotta, gotta go deeper. We gotta go deeper into the volcano. You know, completely ignore the fact that we're in the middle of summer right now. It's fucking really hot. Climate change is just making everywhere just hit record temperatures. But fuck it. Oh, God's right. I forgot about this area. We just, we just, we just gotta go deeper. We gotta go deeper into the volcano. Uh, oh, that's bloodstain. Right, all the creepy finger shit. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah. Finding the way down there is probably gonna be the fucking difficult part! Fucking hell, I forgot about all that. Yeah, checkpoint. Oh, jeez. Fucking hate those things. Uh, oof. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a little bit of traveling. We're gonna have to do some traveling in order to figure out how to get down there. Uh, let's see. Nah, yeah, let's kind of hug this, hug this side, so that we can kind of better catch the any path, any side paths that we can maneuver down. Uh, okay. Yeah, more. Yeah, I think we just probably just have to like keep going down. Just keep following the uh, cliff face, maybe. Yeah, we already cleared the minor Ur tree. There's gotta be a path around here somewhere. Uh, hmm. Hmm. No path. Uh, actually, hold on. I wonder if Hero's Cave. Maybe I need to like. There, it, it kind of almost looks like there's a path there. Let me go move over here real quick. Let's move over there real fast. Yeah, it's really interesting. It's like they're straight up just like, get the fuck out. If you if you're not down with murdering, if you're not down with murder, get the fuck out. We don't want you here. You have to be down with the murder. You have to be willing to do big murder. <laughs> uh. If you're not down for big murders, we don't want you here. Okay. Yeah, so there is definitely some kind of path I might be able to take over here this direction. Because there is an item up there. If only I had a ladder. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> uh, okay, there's a landmass over on that side, actually. Hmm. Old Altus Tunnel. Okay, there's the Wyndham Ruins. Maybe there's something I can get to from that side, from this side. Like, maybe past the, those ruins over here? 
because then I might be able to. Hmm. Uh, unsightly catacombs. Magma worm. Uh. Okay. Where was that one other area that I fucking went to? A lot. Oh, God. Where even was that? Was it underground? It was underground. Uh, where was it? Okay, deep root. Okay, yeah, it was like over, all the way over there. Fucking hell, gods, it has been a while since I've been in this direction, hasn't it? Oh, uh, I haven't really gone back because I actually kind of forgot about it, to be honest. Like, I, I kind of legitimately forgot about it. <laughs> uh, like, we, need, we should get back there sometime because there's probably more stuff that we can explore. There's probably way more stuff that we can explore. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Let's pop over here and try to see if there's like an alternate route. Because I'm not seeing it over on that side. I'm not seeing one on that, that direction. So, move on over here. And then... Yeah, because this is where the fucking uh, Tibia Mariner was. So, let's go ahead and see. There might be something past the ruins here. There might be something past the ruins that I can probably uh, get to. So, let's check on the, on the, the furthest edge possible. Yes, hello. Hi, I'm here passing through. Don't mind me. Don't mind me one bit. Just passing through. Uh, let's see. Mm hmm. No. 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 Uh, that looks like a piece of rock. Oh, here we go. Hey, this looks like something. Mount Gelmer. Yeah, here we go. This looks like something. I was gonna say, because there's like a whole wide ass fucking area without a singular fucking without a single fucking like grace. And I was like, yeah, there should be something over here. There should be something over here. Uh oh, that's a big thing. That's a big fucking thing. Please tell me you have goodies. Please tell me you have goodies. I'm gonna... Let's just do this. There we go. Ooh. Ash of War Barrage. Ooh. Okay, I think I'm safe here. Barrage. It's a bow. Yeah. Uh... Archery skill using a bow held horizontally. Ready a bow, then fire off a rapid succession of fo shots faster than the eye can see. Usable on light bows. Hmm. Could be useful. Oh, it's rainy. Okay. I was worried for a second there. Uh, good luck. A lot of volcanic stones. Huh. Well, I'll have to make sure keep this in mind for collecting materials. Ooh, it's this. And some arrows. <laughs> actually, yeah, that's actually perfect if you want to try that skill uh, Try that skill out, actually. That's actually really nice. Alright. Yep! Okay, I'm gonna assume that I don't want to get hit by these things. There's a tree! <gasps> Yay! Yeah. Seed! We got seed! Get seeded. <laughs> Woohoo! I can only assume that those are not pleasant things. Oh, hello! What's over here? Smithing Stone 5. Visions of ranged battle or death. What the? Hard to tell what's going on there. All right, let's uh. Yeah, sorry, I got some itchies. Eh. Hmm. Here we go. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see what's going on in this direction. Because I see that. That might be a actually be a stone sword thing. Oh, hello. Oh, fuck basilisks. Yeah, boy. Hello. Hi. How are you all? Hi. Yeah. Oh, yep. 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 That's death. That be death. That be a lot of death. There we go. I do have resistance, but still, like, don't want, still don't want to stay in those for too long. Uh, okay. Okay, that might be, it might have been what that message was referring to. Bolus's, beast bone, last shard. Oh wow! What the? Oh, hello, Nathan Butterfly. Hi. Oh, there's a lot of you. Ah, <laughs> jokes on you! I breathe this shit in. I can breathe this shit. All right. Now what's over here? Uh. Hi. How are you? You uh. Yep, you're violent. You are very violent. Not violent enough. Hello. Sure. I got plenty of those. Boop. All right. What's down here? Don't give up. Mushroom. Is this, uh... Oh, there's a lot of bloodstains. Bloodstains right out the gate. Seethe water... Why are there bloodstains... So many bloodstains right out of the gate here? What the fuck are people doing? The actual fuck are people doing here? All right. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Summoning pool is functional. That's right. They did. Oh, hello. They did improve multiplayer matchmaking. That's right. That was one of the things that was in their the uh, patch notes. So, if I read it correctly, then I think what they did is that they expanded the actual, like, range that you can be summoned in, as well as, like, be able to, like, uh, uh, pull from a much wider range or something like that. I believe that was, that's how it was. Basically, they made it easier to match up with people. <laughs> They made it easier to match up with people, which is like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh. That's right, I don't. I probably should set those on, on my quick tab. Alright, just wanted to make sure. Just wanted to make sure I don't do a bad. Oh shit, poison. Fuck. Okay. Ew. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, you can feel the re reduction on repeated uses. You can feel the reduction on repeated uses. Ah, shit. All right, let's get out of here quick. Let's get, try to get out of here quickly. Actually, this might help to counteract the poison a little bit. There we go. Yeah, it helps a little bit. Uh, what? Oh, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, more gross things. Very weak to fire, thankfully. Very weak to, to fire, thankfully. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Oh, they're coming all over the place. They're coming from all over the place. Ow. Oh, jeez. Why is it always poison? Why is it always poison, Miyazaki? Why is it always poison? Tell us, Miyazaki. Please, tell us why it has to always be poison. <laughs> uh, I know, right, Corey? I know, I know. It, it's, always ha it's always poison. It always has to be poison. It always has to be poison. Oh, jeez. 
Uh, you know what? They're slow enough. I probably don't even really need to spend a whole lot of time chasing those around. Oh, hello. Uh -huh. There we go. Oh, you're actually alive. Actually alive still. There we go. Yeah, that regen is actually helping out a little bit. That's just said trap ahead, but what kind of trap are we talking about here? Okay. That, okay, that was a fucking player. I was like, wait, what? Rat. Oh, jeez. Where's a rat at? Where? Try target lock. There you are. Will this reach? Yeet! Oh, yeah, that reaches. Oh, gee. Oh, yeah, that is, that is a big rat, all right. That is, a, that is a big old rat, all right. Anything else? Like, okay, one more thing. Aha! Some runes. Lump of flesh. Behold, dark spot. Yeah, that's about it, unfortunately. Uh, there we go. Ah, jeez. There we go. All right. Uh, let's actually use the axe for a bit to get some FP back. Okay. Oh, more of you. More of you guys. Oh, there's a lot of you. Oh, there's way more th more of you than I thought. There's way more of you than I thought there was. Okay. Alright, fuck that plan. Ow. Uh, oh gods. Fuck. There we go. There we go. Just clear that fucking shit out of here. There. Okay. 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 Try target lock. Wait. I don't know who on who exactly, but oh, on that fucker. Okay. Uh. Well, they're very weak to fire, so we can try this. We can just do this. There we go. Uh, oh, I can't climb up this. Oh, jeez. Yep. I kind of can climb onto this in a weird way. Uh, fuck. Well, maybe not specifically. Ow, fuck off. Fuck off. You jerks. Yeah, jerks. Oh, one fell down. Well, I'm already poisoned, so it's like, might as well fucking get in on you. Ow. There we go. Preserving bullets. Alright. Are you still alive? I cannot tell. I think I may have pushed that one off course. May have pushed that one off course. Okay. Hmm. Can I actually climb up this? Oh, there you are. There you are. Let's see. Ah, no, you're behind cover. Okay, there's probably an alternate route to get up there. So, we'll probably just have to get to that. Oh no, the poison cave, enjoy. Oh yeah, like one of many, trust, one of many, trust me. <laughs> All right, we've already dealt with a fucking entire poison castle. So it's like, why not? More, another poison cave, why the fuck not? <laughs> How you doing, Yamba? Thank you for speaking by. Hope you've had a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. 
Blah. Ew. 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 Okay, yeah. It's like out here. Uh. Do we have. Okay. Mmm. If I had known. I, I probably could have, like, set flame cleanse on this. But. Vitality is also kind of helping. Vitality is also kind of helping to counteract the poison a little bit. So that's coming in handy. And yeah, there's enough poison here where it's probably not going to make much of, a much of a difference. Okay, there is a path upward. And more rats! Hooray! Uh, let's see. More rats! 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 We are the rats! What the? Sinner ahead. Uh. Oh, here we go. I was like, wait, was this a dead end? First off, revenge! You bitch! Yeah, here we go. Golden rune. Uh. Okay, there's the other spot. And then, is there anything else in this path? Oh, there's a lot of shit over there. A lot of shit over in that direction. So, uh, let's look over here first. Uh, ruin. Grass. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there's a bunch of bullshit over in this direction. So, uh, let's just fucking clear the rabble out. Oh, hi! That's also... That's, that's also... A pretty significant concern. That is also a pretty significant concern. You gonna... Nope, you just spin out more shit. And there's the poison again. Yep. Seems about right. Uh... Ooh! Mushroom head, body, arms, and legs. Yo! We got fucking mushroom armor. And some cured meats. <laughs> uh, mushroom, oh mushroom, behold God. Jeez. Uh, all right. Uh, oh, my vi my uh, regen wore off, didn't it? I think my regen wore off. There we go. That should hold me for a little bit. Yay! More poison! <laughs> exactly. What is this mushroom? Let's see the mushroom gear, though, at the very least. While I'm slowly dying. Uh, growing all over the body, these overgrown mushrooms have colonized the head. To those enraptured by the scarlet rot, they are holy vestments that root one to the earth. Really? Okay, yeah. High immunity, focus, and vitality. So that's the benefit. That's the benefit of them. Uh, cover the torso. Yeah, high, high resistances to poison and rot. High resistances. Think that's the active poison armor? Is it like an actual poison or? Uh, let's see. It doesn't say that it is. I guess it wouldn't hurt to like try it and see. I don't know. Put it on C, I suppose. Let's see. Mushroom. Uh, doesn't say that they inflict poison, but let's see. And let's remove. Let's see. Find out. Uh... Yeah, I'm currently doing the... Wow, I... wow, this really does look gross. Holy shit. This really does look super fucking gross. Like, holy shit. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, you can see my dragon eye. <laughs> Yo, yeah, my eye is becoming way more dragon-like since I'm getting more, uh, dragon spells. Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't... It's not giving... It's not inflicting poison. But it does have very heavy resistances to it, so... Uh, might be wrong. I think there might be a poison... I think I remember hearing about something... Wait, hold on. Uh, okay, this is the one that's, uh... 
ca causes po that allows you to get the attack boost from poison, but it doesn't give you poison. Uh, so may there probably is something that just inflicts poison on yourself. Um, that we'll probably run into at some point. Uh, what was Bloodhound? There we go. It's probably out there. It's probably out there. Visions of Faith. Try taking on all at once. Uh, okay. And then I believe. Go back this way. Uh, right, because we gotta go back down this side. We took the branch. Uh, do, do, do. But yeah, I was like going through that. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell. You can definitely feel like the shortened distance from repeated use of that. So they definitely made it so that you can't really spam it like you could. I think they did the same to Quick Step as well, but they also like buffed it, it a little bit. Seek hole. Oh, hello. Ah, statue. So, uh, possibly boss. Possibly boss around here. Uh, how tough is this boss, though? That's the question. Liar head. Uh, do. All right. Mm. All right. Let's see here. Uh, still got my physic. Uh, I got my aromatic. Uh, mm, yeah, I'm not going to have a whole lot of uh, MP for other stuff. So uh, we can probably summon the, sp the jellyfish for this one. And then just like try to refill on um, FP. Got to make sure to get the path down first. Try jumping. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> okay. So the first step is to make the survive the descent. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you all? Ooh, poison darts. All right, where else? No footing there. All right. First off behind, then seek item. This way? Uh, oh, yeah, more more rats. Golden rune. Why is it always bloodstained? <laughs> Are people just, like, getting tagged by random shit, I guess? I guess they're getting tagged by random shit. Okay, here's the boss door. Try guard counter. Guard counter required. Try lightning. Okay. All right, we'll try gu some guard counters then. Traverse the mist. Oh, fuck. Okay. This might be problematic. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, gods. Oh, my god. Yeah, these things actually hurt. Holy shit. Okay. Aurelia, you keep the... Fuck. You keep the... Oh. oh, gods, I hate fighting these. I really hate fighting the these things. Alright. There we go. Fuck. Whoop. Fuck. Okay. Whoo. There we go. There's a, there's a bleed proc. Oh, nice. Get that backstab. Okay. There we go. And the bleed. <laughs> okay, that wasn't too bad. Like, I saw the enemy type and I was worried. I was worried for a bit. But I just needed something to drag their attention. Kindred of Rot's Exultation. Looks like a talisman. Kindred of Rot. Kindred of Rot. 
Where is it? Uh, oh, there it is. Poisoning or rot in vicinity increases attack power. Ah, so raises attack power when poisoning or rot occurs in the vicinity. Rot for the Scarlet Goddess. Oh, Scarlet Blossoms, flourish in distant lands and return us the unwanted children. So I wonder if this stacks with the Mushroom Head then. I wonder if that stacks with the Mushroom Head buff. Because if that does, then yeah, you could probably make a fucking build out of that. You could probably make a pretty competent build out of that. And then at that point, you just need to find something that inflicts the... Whatever that armor piece is that um, inflicts poison on yourself. And then have something on to help, like... counter Have enough health regen to counteract that same poison. Make sure you don't kill yourself in the process. <laughs> All right. That was a good little excursion. That was a nice little detour. Uh. Sup, bitch. All right. Let's move on, shall we? Let us move on. Uh, more molten. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, just fucking dropping bodies out of the sky. Overcast ahead, therefore time for undead. <laughs> oh, it's raining, man. Hallelujah, it's raining, man. <laughs> Ah. Here we go. Oh, yeah, you're all very gross. You're all very gross. Uh, volcanic stone. Herba! Let's see. Uh, fat coin purse. Where? I don't know. Pff. Got me on that one. I have run into I'm I am running into more of those uh, nobles that are just carrying around lock boxes. And I was like, ooh, free runes. Hmm? Hold on, I think Midnight's trying to get into the room now. I heard her be pushing at the door. One sec. Okay, yeah, it was midnight. It was midnight pushing against the door. So, so we got one cat in, one cat out. <laughs> they're just, they're, they just alternated. They just alternated. <laughs> All right. Let's keep on going. I wonder how far this goes. Oh, okay. That was close. Almost got a little, little bit cooked there. Almost got a little spicy. Ooh, what's this? Let's see, there's a grace ahead. Fortnite. Mm. <laughs> uh. Damn it. Golden rune. <laughs> Oh, something's dying. Multiple things are dying. Lots of things are dying. Grace, but why is it always wicked sorts? Like, there's some shit going on over there. Not quite sure what. What the f... Eh. What? I what is going on over here? Mushroom? What the? Oh, hello. Oh, okay. It's uh, it, it's flame peeps. It's fire peoples. It a lot of fire peoples. A lot, lot of fire cultists. 
lot of these, lot of these kind of folk. Honestly, it makes sense that they'd build and uh, have a base down here. It honestly makes sense that they'd have a base of operations in a fucking volcano of all places. Makes makes sense. Oh, you were getting ready to pull something, weren't you? You were getting to try some shit. Alright, let's look around the outskirts first. Let's look around the outskirts before we actually go into there. Uh, that's lava. That's just straight up lava. What the fuck? Okay, this is not what I expected. At all. Sure. Why not? Why the fuck not? Come on out, Flo. We're gonna have a party. Alright, let's let's see. Yeah, glintstone probably work here. Whoop, wrong thing, fuck. Oh, flow got wrecked. Yeah, flow uh turns out flow didn't really have didn't didn't really know what to do. New friend! <laughs> Yeah! Quite a cuddly friend! Okay, at least this is working well against it. The... The... Glintstone breath is at- Oh, you're- You're bipedal?! Since when were these things bipedal?! Since fucking when?! Okay, you're caught against the rock, though. You're caught against the rock. I can use that to my advantage. We can use this. We can use this. Oh, that's lava. That's a lot of lava. Oh, they figured out how to get. Oh, it, it figured out how to get off the rock. It figured out how to get off the rock. Okay. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, that hurt. Crimity. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well then, well then, that is, that's a real one, that's a real contender, that's a real contender over there, that is a very real contender, do appreciate that, it, I do pre appreciate the stake of Marika very close by, I do appreciate that. Oh man, I actually moved very far back there. Alright, let's see if I can... How close can I get before I'm able to summon? Okay, pretty close. Let's try that again, shall we? Let's try that again. <laughs> Once more with feeling. Uh, wonder if I can rot it, actually. I'm gonna try rotting it this time. We'll try, we'll try and see if we can rot it this time around. Uh, no horseback battle ahead. It might be resistant to rot, but we'll give it a shot. We'll give it the good old college try. Yeah, this thing's moving. Oh, my mimic is going in. Mimic is going in hard. Uh, okay, it can in fact be rotted. So that... Alone is I fucking forgot that I have infinite I forgot I forgot that I have infinite FP while that is in effect. Okay. Okay, so ice not so much, makes sense. This is fire. Ice is probably not gonna work as well against against something that spews out lava. Uh there we go. Great enemy felled. Whew. Hey, free dragon heart. Oh, jeez. Okay, that one went. That time went a lot smoother. That went a lot smoother. Holy shit. 
Yeah, was... What the? Alexander, is that you? Alexander, is that you? What the fuck is... Where is he? Uh... Listen carefully and then confidence. Oh, gods. Uh, okay, yeah. I know we've traveled again over lava before, but how strong is this stuff? Can I do it over a torrent? Oh! Okay, torrent does take damage. Torrent takes damage, but we can, we can kind of... Speed through some of this. Oh, mountain of fire. Where the f Bake me in your flames. Oh. It's the best item in the game. Are you... Are, okay, don't build my... <laughs> um, you keep building my expectations. I mean, that la although last time you were actually pretty right. Although what we were able to when we were fa we when I found the rape here, I was like, okay, this is actually a pretty good uh, item. Oh, there you are. Uh, okay, Tor I don't know if Torn's gonna be able to. I don't know how well Torn's gonna last on this, but we'll see. I guess. Okay, yeah, you're not gonna last long at all, are you? You're not gonna, and I can't talk to you either. Seek giant. Oh, I can talk to you from here. Okay, perfect. Might you have in such a place as this? I hardly think you're here to temper yourself with flame, considering that fleshly form of yours. Your timing, though, is impeccable as ever. I've been making just a thing for you on my journey here. Hmm? You take it. I'm sure it'll suit you to a team. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I see what you mean now. I see what you mean now. It's hardly more than lukewarm here. I won't be able to temper my body such that it'll never crack again. Perhaps I'll head eastward. There's an old saying I've caught wind of. Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of ruin, which ever burnt yours. Ah, so you're gonna try and move to somewhere even hotter. There's an old saying I Eastward. Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant. I see giant's peak. Got it. Okay, okay, okay. I am all for goofy headgear. Jar that fits clean cleanly over the head when upturned. Made with pride by Iron Fist Alexander. In a uniquely jar-like gesture of friendship, it boosts the power of throwing pot items. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> so all my throw, all my chuckables actually get a pretty good, get a boost. Oh, that's hell. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like it. That's great. That is fucking great. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's great. I love it. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. How are the defenses? I didn't think to look at that. It's actually pretty solid. Actually pretty solid as a defensive item. A little heavier, but yeah, it's actually not bad. It's actually not bad. Fortunately, I kind of need the silver tier mask for the uh, um, arcane boost, but yeah, that's actually like really fucking solid. That's actually a very solid piece of headgear. Uh, I did that helmet with fat armor, and it was amazing. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. Like, so, uh, like, do like this, and then, like, what's the biggest piece? Like, this. Like, yeah, here we go. Coming in to haunt your nightmares. <laughs> oh, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, man. Well, there we go. Fucking glad we came this direction. I was hoping we'd run into him again. I was genuinely hoping we'd run into him again. Oh, hello. Oh, speaking of... Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Demi-humans. Hi. How are you all? Can you fuck off, please? Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Okay, these ones are significantly tougher. These ones are a little tougher. 
Well, not not by by an absurd degree, but yeah. There we go. Uh. Was basically that. <laughs> yeah, fucking perfect. Uh. Uh, no high road ahead. Golden rune. Oh, there really isn't much of a road here, is there? Oh, cemetery, though. Okay. There's another cemetery. Let's see. You don't have the right. Thief, oh, thief, oh, thief. <laughs> not like anyone here is gonna, not, not like they're going to be using any of this stuff. That, that's how I see it. Uh, golden rune. Golden rune. Golden rune. Thief, oh, thief, why is it always injustice? <laughs> uh, what else is over in this direction? Uh, there is a stake here. There is a... There's a thing here. There's a summoning pool here, so... Must mean there's some shenanigans. Incantation? Be wary of up. Dashing through ahead. Oh. Hmm. Wait, hold on. There's a statue there, too. Hello? Ow, 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 ow. Probably should have tried to see if I could get that thing to break that statue first. Hmm. Is there, like, a player ability that can break these statues? Because, like, the only thing we have really known to, like, be able to break those was to get, like, a troll nearby to crumble or a giant or something to that effect. Is there, like, a player ability that can be used to break these? Because, like, I've never really been able to figure that one out yet. I've never been able to figure that one out. So unless there's, like, a fucking giant nearby or something. Oh, hello. Uh, all right. You all seem to be uh, chilling. Feel free to continue chilling. Ooh, rolling magma. I likes the sound of that. Uh, you'll find it. There's no player ability, or it will find you. Ah, okay. Yeah, I was kind of hoping there'd be, like, a player, uh, like, a, uh, an Ash of War or something that could do that to some ability. To some, uh, level. Wait, was it an Incantation or was it an Ash of War? Uh. What did I pick up? Hold on. Oh, it's a sorcery! Oh, shit! Fire's lump of magma, magma that explodes after delay. Uh, explodes, uh, explodes a short delay after hitting the target. Charging enhances potency and further delays explosion. After discovering the ancient hexes of Gelmer, Rikard, son of Queen Ranala, brought them back in, back into practical use as a new form, new forms of sorcery. Ooh. Huh. Fire-based sorcery. Interesting. Anything else up here? Uh, let's see. Okay, well, someone said be wary of up, so I'm not really sure what could be up. Is it like a- oh- OH, HELLO! Okay, that's what they meant! Okay, got it! Loud and clear! Beat your black! Oh, hey! Oh. Smithing stone six. Okay, you know what? Fine with that. Fine with that. Of course it would be a bear. Of course there's a bear over here. Oh, hi. Oh my god, you still hurt. You still- Oh, and there's demi-humans around as well. Fuck off with all of that. Fuck off. Kindly fuck off, please. Hey, you found him. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, there's lots of demi-humans demi around now. Okay. Oh, fuck. Uh, let me see if I can- Okay. Okay. Okay, I think I'm safe up here for now. I think I'm safe up here for now. Okay. Oh, jeez. 
Yeah, that's, uh, oof. Well, we got the thing inside the statue at the very least. Okay. Hold on. Can we, like, how reliably can we snipe these fuckers? Oh, that's a tree. Uh. There we go. They won't stop moving, so there's that. They will not stop moving. There we go. Like, basically just kind of want to clear some of these fuckers out. Aha! Uh... Oh, God, where'd the bear go? Oh, are you going to try and get back up here? You going to try again? You going to try again? Hey, this one actually knows how to climb. Good for you. Okay. Ah, I need to figure out how to deal with that bear. Or maybe I can, like, run past it. Maybe. Well, yeah. Let's see if we can kind of keep trying to bring down those. Okay, it went back to sleep. Good. It went back to sleep. Okay. Nope, it, it, nope, it's up again. It's awake again. It is very much awake again. Okay. Uh. Okay. This is uh, going to be a bit of a problem. This is going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? Let's see. What do we have here? What do we have? Okay, we got rot arrows. So let's see if we can kind of rot you. Let's see if we can rot you up. Oh my god, it's right. Your range attack. Okay. Man, you are fucking sturdy. You are fucking sturdy. There we go. There's the rot. Okay. So that's hitting. So that's go doing its thing. Uh, let's see. What else can I do? Welling, fire, serpent. Ooh, yeah, serpent arrows. Yeah, we can stack probably stack some poison on you as well. There we go. Ultimate levels of cheese. We get Ultimate sacks of cheese. Oh. Grab your pepper jack. Get some Swiss. Oh, uh, hell, even grab some cordon bleu, you know? Get some blue cheese up there. Uh, that that counts, right? That counts, right? Just get whatever your pref prefer preferred flavor is. <laughs> uh, don't worry, there's more ahead. Oh no. Or I'm afraid. Okay, well, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Don't like that, huh? Don't like that, huh? <laughs> something about just standing up out, just out of reach and watching something slowly die. It's just hilarious and satisfying. I wonder if I can just go ahead and do the coup de gras. Oh, God! Nope, that was a bad idea. That was a very bad idea. That was a very bad idea. It's a very bad idea. There we go. Jeez. I underestimated just how tough its defense was. I underestimated its defense. I really hope there aren't any other bears, because that was I, I will cry. I will actually cry if there are any more bears. Gravel stone. Okay, okay. Actually, you know what? That's a smaller bear, so that's fine. That's more manageable. That's a smaller bear. I'm okay with smaller bears. Smaller bears are not nearly as threatening. One of these. Oh. What is this place? Oh! Oh, hi! Okay. Uh, what is that all about? <laughs> oh, goofy bear. 
You silly bear. Where am I going? Oh god, so there's like more. Where where are where where is this? I'll take another grace. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah, pop this first before anything. Craftsman shack. Meets the bear to tarnish size ratio. Got it. <laughs> Ooh! Pulley crossbow? Seems familiar. Oh, seems familiar. Pulley crossbow. This is new. Uh, here we go. Crossbow made with pulleys and power strings. The complex mechanism, which required advanced myth mathematical and mechanical understanding to craft, was likely made by a certain genius who learned Golden Order Fundamentalism. One touch virus, a volley of bolts. Be warned, large stores of bolts can be quickly spent. Ooh! New Age Avalon! New Age Avalon! <laughs> oh, there. that's why, that's why. Yeah, new new age Avalon. Holy shit! How much how much does that actually require to hold? Uh oh, I can actually use this. <laughs> I can theoretically actually use this. Actually, I can use all these. Yeah, the only thing I can't use is the hand ballista, but yeah, that's a whole another category. Yeah, I can actually use that. Ah. Huh. Oh. Well, fuck yeah. Do we even have bolts? Okay, I do have bolts. I do have bolts, in fact. Uh, we'll throw some black key bolts. Give it a shot. Let's give it. Let's let, let's take it for a spin. Let's take it for a spin. Here we go. Uh, do do do. Okay, and let's see how many do we? How many is this fire? Load. Uh, one, two, three. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's an Avalon, all right. That's an Avalon, all right. Okay. Oh, I've... Oh, there's multiples. Jeez. Oh, there's multiple of these fuckers. Yeah. A little bit unwieldy in close-range combat, unfortunately. Not as wieldy... Not as useful in close-range combat. Because, yeah, still got aim. <laughs> still got aim, but hell, but shit. That is actually really good. That is actually not bad at all. Well, yeah, you can probably farm up. There we go. Yeah, there we go. We can probably farm a bunch of fucking materials over here. Bunch of beast materials over in this neck of the woods. Monstrosity ahead, be wary of dashing through. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can get some FP back. There we go. His X is actually not bad, like, for overworld stuff like this. It's like if you can find a group of uh, wildlife to just, like, just use as livestock then you can actually get some FP back pretty reliably you can actually get some FP back pretty reliably oh geez provided you can actually hit which I sometimes have troubles with <laughs> there we go and yeah the crafting materials is also a plus the crafting materials is definitely a plus okay that should do that should do. Uh, beware of dashing through. So what the fuck is over here? Oh, that shit. That shit. Okay, yeah, nah. Not fucking with that. Not gonna fuck with that. Get that, though. Yeah, not gonna fuck with that. Not gonna fuck with that. Hermit village. Oh, gods! Oh, that fucking thing went far. That went far. That went super fucking far. Hey, Prattling Prey. How you doing? Jeez. 
Something tells me I'm not welcome here. Something tells me I'm very much not welcome here. I need to get the fucking... I need to get the fucking higher ground. Oh, gods. Where the fuck did the fucking Iron Maiden go? Okay, here we go. Okay. Where the fuck did that thing go? Jeez. <laughs> okay, there you are. Like, criminy. <laughs> oh. Fucking hell. Like, jeez. <laughs> oh, God. I thought it was, like, out of the way. I thought it was out of the fucking immediate danger, but I was like, nope. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, we got some uh, beastly motherfuckers over here. Oh, that didn't work. Shit, okay. Let's try this. There we go. Okay, rot does work. Uh, actually, let's see if we can throw a couple, a couple of rocks around. Fuck, that is not what I wanted to do. God damn it. That works. Oh, hey, what are you doing over there? Uh, we'll take care of you in a sec. We'll take you, care of you in a hot sec. Still need to clear a little bit of the rabble here. Jeez. Yeah, there's a lot here. There's a lot around here. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good for now. Jeez. Ooh. Herodas Glintstone cr Crown. Okay, yeah, you're definitely gonna aggro as soon as I get close to you, aren't ya? Ooh, great knife. And some rainbow stones. Let there be love. Oh, hello. Oh, you're gonna come over. Oh, you're approaching me. Okay, you got some fucking shit. Ow, jeez. Okay. Ow, fucker. Yep. Still works to an extent. Still works to an extent. <laughs> oh, how you doing, lock and load? <laughs> Thank you for the redeem. <laughs> uh, yeah, per appropriate funeral sound for that poor scholar. That poor fucking scholar. Uh, how you doing? Thank you for speaking by. Hope you've had a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. Behold, forest. Yeah, sure. And there's another motherfucker right on over there. A big motherfucker. All right, let me see. Okay, I've gotten some sips back, so that's gonna help. Uh, there we go. Gold tinged excrement. Yeah, I want to make sure this area is kind of cleaned out first before I check anything. Although I think the fucking fucking oh Aaron sorcerer. Yeah, I think the fucking steamrolling Iron Maiden probably cleared out a good chunk of them for me. It's fucking did not stop. Could not stop, would not stop. Yeah, I think we're good for the time being. Uh, how was everything? Stop by before, stop by before I head to bed. Have <laughs> fun streaming. No worries. It's been going pretty well so far. We've been having a pretty solid run so far this evening. Uh, but yeah, thank you for swinging by. And I hope, hope you make, thank you for swinging by. Oh, some string. Uh, if only I had a lover. Aw. Yeah, thank you, for thank you for swinging by. Have a good rest and pleasant nightmares. <laughs> uh, thank you again for the redeem. All right, what is all the stuff that I picked up? 
uh, crown. Uh, Glintstone crowns increases intelligence and endurance to the detriment of FP. Oh, the crown of Herodas was granted to scholars who engaged in nomadic study away from the academy. Oh, that's why they're all the way over here. Okay. Uh, okay, it only drops my FP by about 10 points, so that's actually not too bad. That's actually not a bad trade-off. Uh, actually not a bad trade-off at all. Yeah, it's like, how's that? Two points of intelligence? Yeah. Not bad. Not a bad boost. Not a bad trade-off there. I can see people running that. Let's see. Let there be armor. Oh, right. We did get the errant armor, didn't we? I think I could probably switch my bow back on <laughs> at this point. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Uh, errant armor. Burp, burp, burp. Let's see. Guardian. Errant. Oh, it's already altered. Commonplace robe. May have thick cloth worn by errant sorcerer Wilhelm. One of the first tarnished to visit Round Table Hold. Really? Silent seeker of sorcery who had gone so far as to make contact with the primeval current, Wilhelm was led by guidance into confrontation with his friend Vargram. And it is said that he was then taken prisoner to the in Round Table Hold. Really? Wow. One of the first tarnished to visit the Round Table Hold. Interesting. Interesting. Huh. All right. All right, what kind of fuckery do we got over on this neck of the woods? <laughs> what kind of fuckery do we have over here? All right. All right, Mimic. Your turn. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. Let's go ahead and use, try, uh, try perfume here. Here we go. Buff everybody up. Let's see what we got here. Sup, bitch? Yep, demi human queen Maggie. Maggie! Okay. Ow, fuck. Well, there goes my shield. Oh, there's another caster, isn't there? Okay, this is what's making. This is what's gonna make it difficult. This is what's gonna make it difficult. This fuckery. Alright. Mimic, keep them, bu keep them busy. I'll try and see if I can clear out the fucking ads. There we go. All right, now it's Queenie's turn. Now it's Queenie's turn. Oh yeah, there we go. Ow, fuck. All right. Yep, holding on to it. Oh, it's using the perfume as well. Ooh, nice. Oh, did it use the perfume as well? Fuck yeah. Give me some, Yeah, give me... Ooh, memory stone! Oh, uh, fuck yeah! <laughs> I will fucking gladly take an extra memory stone. Holy shit. What I really want is an extra talisman slot, but I'll, f I'll fucking take another spell slot. I will totally take another spell slot. Oh, hello. Uh, hi. Are you? Are you Wilhelm? Stars, oh stars, gesturing required a head. Uh, you are not targetable. Friend of, oh, Comet Azure, just gave me a fucking spell. He just gave me, just straight up gave me a spell. Well, thank you. Comet Azur fires a tremendous comet within a starry torrent. A uh, torrent akin to a distant, the distant starry expanse, place said to be the origin of Glintstone, or to continue releasing the sorcery's power. When Azur glimpsed into the primeval current, he saw darkness. He was left both bewitched and fearful of the abyss. Ooh. Well then. Uh. Thank you for the spell. Appreciate it. 
Damn. <laughs> and and the grace all the way out here. All the way out here. Oh, and this is how you get to the other side of that. Let's go ahead and take a seat. Hello. Hello, me knight. Oh, yeah. Just, just tank. Just chills there. Just fucking chills there. <laughs> just fucking chills there. It's like, I don't think he's even alive. Don't think he's even alive at this point, but uh, sure. Now there it is. Ah, there it is. And this is how we get to there. Yep. Golden room. This is the other route we could have taken to get to that. Get to that place. <laughs> oh, man. We took a hell of a fucking detour. Holy shit. Yeah, we took a hell of a detour. Uh, God's Hermit Shack. Oh, God. Yeah. Boy, howdy did we take a detour. Boy, howdy did we take a fucking detour. Spells of Kamehameha. Oh, jeez. Mm. Oh, wait. Is that... I feel like I've seen a video of that. Like, someone... Someone grabbed that spell and used it against a uh, fucking uh, Godfrey. And yeah, it straight up looked like a fucking Kamehameha. It, like, is that the one I'm thinking of? Is that is that the fucking comet spell? It's like, I thought it like, dro just like dropped a comet from the sky. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That's even better. Uh, 60 intelligence, though. I am not using that with this build. I am very much not using that with this build. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking amazing. That is fucking amazing. All right. Um, I think I've gotten... I think I thoroughly explored everything in this direction. It kind of destroys. Jeez. <laughs> oh. Holy shit. Yeah, I have no doubt. Like, if, I, if that's a spell I remember seeing video footage of months back... Then, yeah, I've no doubt that it does, in fact, just fucking wreck shit. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, we took a fucking hell of a detour. Suppose we should, I suppose we should go back and actually, like, like check out that fort, fucking fort now. Should actually go and check out that fort. Oh, uh, now that we got thoroughly sidetracked in a completely different direction. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Okay. Actually, let me take... Uh, yeah, Midnight's... Midnight's sitting around my legs real quick. She's trying to get my attention, so one sec. All right, I'm back, and yeah, Midnight did, in fact, need to be let out. <laughs> uh, does with the F infinite FP thing. Dude, the fucking infinite FP physic is so fucking busted. <laughs> oh, it's like, especially for spellcasters. Like, it's specially fucking busted for spellcasters. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't last long, but it gives you just enough time to just get at least two fully charged spells out like depending on how much f how how long you need to charge something for like it definitely gives you more than enough time to fucking cover that eh, to just fucking let loose with every with whatever you want oh jeez okay let's see 77,000 right now I uh, wonder if I should jump back to the round table to try and dump some of these. Uh, Alright, let's actually see if there's uh, another grace inside the fort itself real fast. This has been a very productive evening. Very productive evening. Excuse me, pardon me, just passing through. Don't mind me. Uh, I made Mega Mind just to do magic and destroy the law of bosses with that spell. Oh, God. 
Oh, man. You know, like, one thing we're going to have to do, one thing that I'm going to have to do once I beat this is try and see if I can look up, like, cosplay builds so I can have... Ooh, extra stone, stone sword key. I will take that. I'm going to have to look up, like, some cosplay builds just to kind of see if I can find something dumb to mess with. Because I've already seen a couple, like, turtles, uh, turtle builds. I saw so one person do, like, a fucking Sonic the Hedgehog build, apparently, with... There's apparently a skill that causes you that allows you to do roll, to do a, like a rolling attack, and apparently you pair. I guess you pair that with a fucking lightning uh, knuckle or something like that. Like that kind of just dumb fucking bullshit like that. Ooh, fire monk. Like just dumb bullshit like that. There we go. Uh, it's there we go. Get over here. Uh, ooh, there's more. Wow, there's way more stuff over here. Hello. Yeah. Come on. Whoa. Oh, I missed that completely. Oh, we're both missing. We're both mess missing. There we go. Yeah, so it seems like Bloodhound Step is definitely still, like, useful for heavy builds. You just can't spam it like you did before because then you start losing the fucking momentum. There is the guts. There's the guts armor around here. Wait, what? You, wait, seriously? There's like, no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's guts armor here. Like we have the sword, but there's no. If, look, dude. If there's if the actual like guts armor, if the actual berserker armor is here, then like I, I'm gonna have to like pop up my guts character and just make a beeline for this area. <laughs> uh, so to speak, likely lover. Uh, are you the only thing around here? Looks like it. You are, in fact, the only thing around here. I mean, cool firework display, but it's like, yeah, I, I, I have fucking rot breath. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> uh, Prelates Inferno Crozier. It was like, I have a, okay, okay, you have a pretty impressive fireworks display, but it's like, I'm, a, I'm almost literally a fucking dragon. <laughs> what are you going to do? Oh, uh, geez, 45 strength. Holy shit. Colossal hammer with the appearance of roiling flames. Weapon of the prelates who lead the fire monks. Its heft represents the weight of their guards guardianship. The hammer's head is unusually substantial, and strong attacks will fling foes into the air. Slam the armament into the ground to create a surge of flames, then charge in. Hold to continue charge. Oh god. Oh yeah, that's a fucking huge... That is, that is a big hammer. That is a... That is a big bonking. That is a big bonk weapon. That is a... That is a huge bonk weapon. Huge bonk weapon. <laughs> okay, and you can't... That is just straight up Smoke's move. That is straight up just Smoke's, like, charge move. <laughs> Not even joking. Oh, you can, you can keep it going. You can keep it going. That's even better. It's not even using any FP. It's not even using any FP. You literally can just fucking do this. Well, it's probably not using FP because I don't have the skill, or, like, the strength requirements for it. But still, like, this is fucking... This is literally just smog. It's literally just smog. <laughs> oh, God. Not here, but around. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to be taking a closer look around here. God, yeah, that... Yeah, that is straight up just Smoke's hammer with the fucking fire effect. That is amazing. That is fucking amazing. What is over here? Seek up. Huh. Uh, behold, I don't believe it. Expect, except, didn't expect like a dream. Hi? Anyone here? Hello? Hello? 
Knock, knock. Ooh. Armorer's Cookbook 7. Uh, let's see. Cookbook 7. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Ah, here we go. Ooh. Giant's Flame Fire Pot. Ooh. Uh, oh, I maxed on on pots. Oh, jeez. <laughs> We're going to have to rectify that soon. At a certain incantation, and it turns into a bleed pain train. Oh, God. Yeah, no. I fucking don't even doubt that. Because it looks like you can actually... It doesn't have any other, like, spe specific quality. So, yeah, you could probably add something else to it. You could totally add a, th another element. What the? Someone's up here. Hello? Someone is up here. Jumping required a head. Hmm. Who is here? Who's up here? Uh. Oh. Well, there's you. Wait, is that who's? Oh. Hold on. Yep. 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 There we go. Fire Scorpion Charm. Hello? Uh, raises fire attack, but lowers damage negation. Ah. So that's the third of the set here. Interesting. And you. I'll survive. I swear it. I'll soon be back at the Volcano Manor. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we can see how well that worked out for you. Uh, can I get anywhere else here? Does not look like it. Does not look like it can get much uh, anywhere else. And I can't climb these towers either. Uh, let's see. Uh... Yeah, get a good view of the fucking lava lake. Likely thief. Oh, someone made off with it already. Interesting. That's why. I wonder where they went to. Hmm. wonder if I can find their body, course, body nearby. Oh, there's actually a couple things down there. Ooh. Hey, Silent Wolf, how you doing? Thank you for swinging by. Hope you've had a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. <laughs> yeah, like, that thing is just, like, that fucking move from the hammer. Like, yeah, very much schmoovin. Very schmoovin. Okay, yeah, I think we're done with the fort at, fort at the very least. I was kind of thinking there'd be something a little bit more, like, bigger? But then... But it's fine. We got a couple cool things. We got a couple cool things. Hmm. There is that. Yeah, I don't think I want to... I wonder if I can actually... Let's try something here. Let's try something here. Uh, okay. I was going to say, like, could I, like, rot the driver, maybe? But it doesn't look like it. Okay, some frost proc there. Hmm. Let's try something else here. Nope. Yeah, nah. I was hoping that I could be able to use a flight... The try to affect the driver with rot, but that doesn't seem to be the case, unfortunately. I have a terribly weird back feeling. That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound pleasant at all, actually. <laughs> uh, how are you? Doing pretty good. This has been a really productive evening so far. Ah, there we go. That's what I was hoping to get. That's what I was shooting for. Oh, this one dropped something. Oh, not much. Uh, 
Let's see, what else is around? There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Let's take a look around the perimeter, because there might be some cool stuff that I'm missing. Yeah, this has been a pretty cool evening. This has been, like, my objective was to explore the volcano area tonight. And yeah, I think we've managed to accomplish that goal with gusto. Because we found some cool shit. We managed to find Alexander and see if we and try and was able to progress his little storyline. And it's just like fuck, like yeah, we do, we're doing it. We're like not knocking shit and taking care of shit. We're we're actually taking care of shit. Uh, yeah. Let's set the grace real fast. Let's go ahead and sit down over here. Uh, what's in the volcano? Yeah, yeah, magma and lava. Exactly. Yeah, it's like what? Of course, what? Of course, the stuff. Well, that stuff is obvious. That stuff is obvious. But like, the main yeah! reason. I Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Hoodlum. Holy shit. All right. All right. Hold on. Let me say that the fucking grace again. Let me say that the fucking grace again. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That way I'm not fucking worrying about getting fucking attacked or anything like that. Hoodlum. Yo. How the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Crab Colt Raid. <laughs> how you doing? Uh, uh, thank you so much for the raid you're playing duck game oh god i i i've seen that game it looks really kind of weird and silly and hilarious but i never had a chance to actually play it myself oh man sorry finishing off some tea here ah uh, how you doing how you doing crabs how you fucking do it <laughs> hope you had a good stream Hope you had a good stream, man. Uh, welcome Raiders! I am Sawin! I am a Wraith VTuber and horror content creator, and we've been playing some more Elden Ring. We've been exploring the volcano region tonight, and we're getting some fucking cool-ass shit! We're seeing some cool fucking shit here! <laughs> uh, I stream three to four days a week, primary, uh, ho uh, focusing a lot on games with horror uh on horror games and games with horror themes uh but i also i also do things such as horror story asmr and the last friday of every month i have a thing called cemetery cinema where we watch a classic horror movie on twitch <laughs> uh so if any so if any of that sounds like something that'd be up your alley Feel free to stick Skylar Astra! Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Skylar Astra. Hello. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the spooky zone. <laughs> thank you for that. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Uh, very chaotic and fun. Was hanging with Hex only in Sky. Hell yeah. Oh, here's something you gotta do for the Raiders. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for the redeem. Because, like, I was actually just about to do that. Because, yeah. If any of that sounds like anything that would be up your alley, then... I hope you have a terrifyingly fun time. <laughs> Thank you so much again for the raid, Krabs. Thank you so much. Also, how you doing, Imp? How you doing, Imp? Thank you also for swinging by, and I hope you've also had a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. Excuse me. Mm. Mm. My throat's been bothering me a lot lately. I don't know. I think I may have been pushing my. Think that I think I may have been pushing myself a little too hard the past couple weeks. So I gotta try and take it easy for a little bit. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, spoopy mate. <laughs> oh, thank you so much again for the raid crabs. And thank you as well, Imp, for the redeem. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, like, yeah, our primary goal for the night was to explore this entire area for the most part. And, yeah, we've, I think we've kind of nailed that. I think we nailed that pretty successfully for the most part. 
Yeah, it's like Duck Game is one of those things that I've seen that look that just looks like it's really chaotic fun. I just never had a chance to play it myself. But it looks crazy. It looks silly and crazy. And that's the kind of stuff I can get into. Whoop. Let's see. See if there's anything like we've missed. Maybe around like the lava pool or something. Cause like I had to kind of dash through there just to make sure I didn't die. Let's see. Absolutely hell yeah. <laughs> uh let's see. Anything like around the lake? I fell into a burning ring of fire. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, not that direction. Uh, okay, and this is where we ran into all the fucking demi humans. Maybe something around here. Yeah, Alexander is still chilling. Uh, Torrent, you're gonna have to put up with this for a little bit. Ah, eh, eh. Okay, well, nothing around here. Hmm. It's like, I know it's mentioned that, like, the fucking berserk armor is around here somewhere. Maybe it's like, well, maybe it's not around here, but maybe, like, did I miss anything at the hermit shack by any chance? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like I may have missed something. I can't help but feel like I missed something somewhere. Or I may just be fucking paranoid. <laughs> I may just be fucking paranoid at this point. Just a light bout of paranoia. Uh, let's see. This is a cemetery here. Uh, yep. Uh, more stuff here. Ooh, Arteria leaf. Uh, ba ba Nothing around here. Yeah, I think I think we pick, I feel like we picked this area clean. I feel like we picked this area pretty clean. Cause I can't really find anything that actually could have missed. Hmm. Yeah. Unless there's like something. Well, let's see. Cause like Alexander's right. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, cause there is all this. I wasn't able to get. Hmm. Let me actually double back uh, towards Alexander, because I wonder if there's a way that I can actually move further up in that lava pool area. I wonder. Uh, let's see. Cause there's that. Let me see. Let me kind of get an idea of what the path is here. Uh, warrior head and short fortitude required. Hmm. There is more castle up there, so I wonder if. Uh, let's see. Don't think it's in the volcano area, but we could search where it's at. Um, I'll probably run into it eventually. I will probably run into it eventually. I appreciate the offer, though. Like, with the way I've been scraping, I will probably run into it at some point. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I think we got this area pretty well cleaned out. Unless there's a way that I can, like, get further into, like, this area. But I have a feeling that that's going to require me to get in better... Um, alignment with the, uh, with the volcano manor. Uh, let's see. Let me actually, let's warp over here real quick. See if I can get another, like, view of that. See if there, I can get an idea of where I can go. Because, like, there's definitely, hmm. Okay. Wait, hold on. Okay, I see a golden tree down there. I don't think I've gotten there yet. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Okay. Yeah, okay, so there's the, my, that's the ur tree. That's the minor ur tree. Um. Hmm. So there's definitely, I don't think I've actually yeah, there's gotta be a way down that. Wait, is that a? No, that's a waterfall. Uh, hmm. I wonder. Okay, there's the craftsman's shack. Hermit village. Ha. Huh. 
Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think about where this could, where it could lead to. Well, hmm. All right, let's pop over here and see if I can kind of get a glimpse. Because, like, if I can find... I'm thinking that the way to get further in would probably have to require me to get in better standing with the uh, Volcano Manor residence. That's what I'm thinking at the very least. Don't know if that's the case, but that's, like, the, that's currently the operating theory I'm working with here. That's the current underlying theory. Uh, cause yeah, like, yeah, cause like up until, like up until we get us like a certain point, like there's, whoop, didn't mean to do that. Cause like all this is just like, just rock. This is all just mountainside otherwise. Hmm. Let's see. And I wonder if... I wonder if I could ju uh, just, like, ride along a different edge. And then see if there's, like, anything else I can, like, climb down. Got myself an early shift, so it's bedtime. But I wish you happy stream. No worries, no worries. Thank you again for the raid crabs. Uh, you have a good rest and pleasant nightmares. <laughs> have a good day tomorrow. Ugh. Okay, yeah, I can definitely see the ground. Unless that's where I came from. No way, I came from... Uh, where did I come from again? Oh, gods, how did I get, how did I fu- Oh, gods, I forgot how I actually got fu fucking got there. Right, it was through the fucking, uh, hermit, but right, it was from... Okay, right, okay, 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 so... Right, it was through here, and then I looped around there, okay. <laughs> right, 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 right. I had to fucking... Okay, just try to remember my... Get my bearings again. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay, trying to remember how I got everywhere around... I got, try, just trying to make sure I get my bearings right. Uh, let's see. Road of Iniquity. Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm starting to get... I'm, I'm remembering. I'm recalling now. Do... Do... do. Okay, kind of pop back over here just so I can get an idea of what we're working with here. Let's just kind of take a quick peek outside. Just a quick old... Okay, yeah, because like the actual lava portions are right behind the manor. So unless there's like an alternate path behind this place that I've missed out on... Uh, which actually looks like there is. Well, not much, but... Uh... Okay, yeah, I was just down there. That area, I was... Yeah, I've gone through there already. Uh... Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, and that's the other bridge that I crossed. Wait, is have I gone across that? Have I gone across that? I'm thinking. I'm trying to think if I've gone across that. I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't know if I have actually. I honestly don't know if I have. Is that traversable? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let me. Hold on. I got. I got. I gotta do a big think. I gotta do a big think here. <laughs> We're gonna do a bit of a think. Um, let me need to look around a little bit more. Anything else around here? Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So Alexander is probably gonna be already moving eastward, and he'll probably move once we... By the time we unlock the next area. By the time we unlock the next area... He'll probably move. He'll probably move his large jar butt over to the next area. Let's just kind of hug the wall over here real fast. We'll check this, 
and then we'll go and see about giving that invitation over to uh what's his fuck go away fingers not nope 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 no fingies no fingies no fingies no fingies no fingies i am not a fan of the fingies not a fan of the fingies uh okay let's see wonder if hold on Yeah, shit. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. So it seems like there's a whole nother landmass up there? All the way up there. Hmm. Uh, actually, hold on. Hold on a sec. I got an idea. I think I got an idea of something. I got some idea. No, no, two of the fingies. 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 Uh. Did you rate Choco? Oh, yeah, we rated uh, Choco on uh, Monday. We rated Choco on Monday. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, a really cute, written, does, is a really good artist, does some pretty uh, spooky cute stuff. Uh, like, kind of like a pastel uh, horror stuff, in a sense. Like, that's kind of like, I feel like that's a, oh, oh, that's right. Have I gone up there? Oh, right, because, ow. Right, because... I can't really get any further up of that fucking slope. Right. Um, unless there's like another... Ow. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You're having a fucking conniption. And you just clipped right through the fucking world. Okay. Uh, hold on. Oh, jeez. I wish you... Well... I wish you fuckers wouldn't flail like that. I wish you fuckers wouldn't flail. Oh, yeah, that one's just fucking stuck. You're just fucking stuck. <laughs> uh, you're just stuck. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's great. Uh... Okay, right. I was looking at this, and then I was just like, oh, wait, I can't actually get up there, can I? Yeah, because otherwise it looks like you, it looks like it's a landmass that you could possibly explore. But I don't see any other way I can get up there. I woke up and was forced into a cult, so I said, sure, why not? <laughs> uh, well, I hope you enjoy your cult. Uh, speaking of cults, we're going to be playing Cult of the Lamb on Saturday. <laughs> so feel free to swing by for that. I've been looking forward to that game for a long time. Uh, yeah, I think that's something I may need to like try to approach from a different angle. Oh, oh, you're free. Oh, you actually got yourself free. Holy shit. You actually got yourself free. Congratulations. Good job. Good for you. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Give yourself a pat on the back. All right. Let's do this thing for the Volcano Manor and see see if we can get some of their approval. Because I feel like it, the, we, the way we progress further into their facility is to kind of play along with some of their stuff. For a brief time. It's like, what could possibly go wrong? What can possibly go wrong? Well, there's the wolf NATO. Let's not deal with that. Multiple wolf NATOs. Multiple wolf NATOs. L lots of wolf NATOs. Uh, okay. Okay, we're close. Cause I, yeah, because this is where I got invaded by... Oh. Yeah, because I got invaded by some fucker. Invade Old Knight Isfahn's world. You know, I 
but sure, why not? Why not? We'll just pay him a visit. Just pay him a friendly visit. Hey, Isvan! How you doing? I came with... I have a letter for you. Oh, you're coming in swinging. You're coming in swinging. Coming in hot. Uh, let's see. Oof! Okay. Uh, oh, jeez! Oh, gravity shit. Oh, grit. Gravity. Oh, how dare. How dare. Oh, gods! Woohoo! Oh, man, you recover. You recover quick. Ah, you're out of sips. You are out of sips, good sir. You yeah, boy. I just wanted to give you your invitation, man. I just wanted to give you your invitation. <laughs> Old Isvan, all night Isvan defeated. I just wanted to give him his invitation, and then he comes in with his giant fuck off sword and just immediately runs in like I'm so, like fucking some kind of threat. And I'm like. Dude! Rude! Rude! <laughs> uh, ooh, scaled. Scaled gear. Leading to a pulp enemy ahead. Yeah, because this is where I got in forced in invaded the first time. Which is kind of wild how that it, it kind of makes you come back here. Oh god, but the way he was fucking approaching, like, nah, yeah, I'm fucking, I, now I'm thinking about, back to the fucking bit from Monty Python and the Holy bit, Holy Grail. The, one of the knights is just running across the pasture, it's the gag where he's just like, <laughs> like the drum, dramatic drum roll is going off, and he's just running across the field, and then the two guards at the castle are just like, standing there, like, literally just looking, just staring off, just, and one's just like, yeah, yeah. One night is just like, just eating a fucking apple. Like, <laughs> and the other night's just fucking staring off, and it's just like it's it's fucking great. It's fucking great. You've completed your task. I am pleased. Now you are a recusant true, and a full-fledged member of the Volcano Manor. This is your reward, as promised. Mmm. I like that. That the recusant fights to tread the path of the champion. The way is tainted, but for this very reason, it is the true path to valor. Way is tainted. Now you are a recusant, I am pleased. No, All right. Please. All right. Dog ahead. Oh, well, that's just rude. That's just rude. Oh, hello. Someone please kill him. That horrendous serpent. Traitor Rygard. Well, then. Interesting. Uh, anyone new around here? Uh, you're still there. Ooh, new thing. Another letter. Another target, looks like. Uh, oh right, it's over on this tab, isn't it? Riley the Idol can be found in Altus Plateau. Find the red mark on your map. Interesting. Ahead. Have you ever heard any strange sounds here at the manor? Something beyond the walls, like breathing or slithering scales? Oh, fie, what am I saying? It just is impossible. I must be tired. I mean, we just heard someone talking about I trying to like do a murder. Breathing or slithering scales. Just feeling tired, huh? Hey. I thought I told you to leave. Or do you claim to understand? 
what it means to be a recusant, renouncing grace and hunting down one's own. I think I'm getting an understanding now. Well, as long as you understand what you're saying, I thought you were tarnished, bred by virtue. Perhaps playing that part led you to your doubts, I wonder. But know that the path you walk is blasphemy and leads only to a miserable death. Before you consider hunting any of your own kind, think on that. Noted. This blasphemous before you can. Uh, let's see. Ah, aristocrat. Why is it always pathetic sort? Uh, what else is around here? Well, you're new. Wait, friend in short seek armament? Wait a minute. You're tarnished. Here to put the demigods to the sword. Then please kill the great serpent. Great the serpent that devoured Praetor Reichard. I left the serpent slaying spear in the Lord's chamber. Worthy tarnished. Brandish the spear and run him through the great serpent. That unspeakable monstrosity. Uh, okay. Reichard, but they were reduced to gluttonous mm. depravity once he gave himself to the serpent. Whatever that thing is, it is no longer Praetor Reichard. Someone must kill him to spare him and his ambitions from further dishonor. Noted. Worthy time. It is the only run it. The Lord Lord's Chamber? Uh let's see. Where is it? Where be where be where be the pole? Uh snake but lovable sword jeez. Left it in the Lord's Chamber. Left it in the Lord's Chamber. Okay, I feel Okay, no, like I'm actually hearing some shit. I'm hearing shit that sounds like movement. It's like right here. Oh, hello! What the fuck? What the f What the shit? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, like I heard something. I straight up heard something. Moving and moving. I'm like, wait, what's going on? I, I'm actually hearing some shit. I'm like, okay, we there's actually are creatures in the walls here. There actually is shit in the walls here. Like, holy shit. Holy fucking shit. That is fucking hilarious. Budding horn. Holy fuck. It's like, jeez. Is this like a dungeon or something? Oh yeah, there, there's some... Jesus, fuck. Oh god, that actually spooked me a sec. Be wary of up. Oh, oh gods. Okay. Uh, actually, let's play, let's play for a safer approach. Let's play a safer approach. Here we go. Because we are still indoors, and I don't know if there's going to be anything that might result in, like, problems. If I do, like, throw something in a bad direction or something like that. Or if I do a... If I do a fucking dragon... Oh, gods. If I do a dragon breath attack, and then, let, like, that flows into somewhere else entirely. Ow. Okay. This is fucking bonkers. 
Try rolling left. Ooh, cookbook 21. Uh, doo -doo -doo. uh, here we go. Ooh, a learning pot. Ah, this is the other side of that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Depraved perfumer Carmen? What the fuck is all this shit that we're finding? What the actual shit is all this stuff that we're finding? Oh, uh, depraved perfumers practice their art for themselves alone. Carmen was a notably formidable perf perfumer whose strength rivaled that of heroes, and it is said that he was in search of a secret physic of revivif revivification. 124 to fucking summon that dude. Jeez. Okay. This is like... This is fucking getting... This is getting crazy. Like, a whole fucking backside to this entire fucking place. And you have to, like, wait for the fucking snail to try and attack you through the wall and reveal it. Keep moving. Oh my gods. This is some... This is bonkers. What is this all about? Try here and then range battle. Try door. Where is... Oh. Oh. Ooh. Hi. Oh, you're another bloodhound, aren't you? Uh. Oh, gods. Can you... Okay. Okay, you can't go through here. You can't come through here. Good. Like, holy shit, good. Because, yeah. Jeez. Uh. Yeah, we can just kind of do this. Yeah, we can totally just do this. Why not? Why not? There we go. Nice. Right in the head. Uh. Hey there, Kami. How you doing? Thank you for swinging by. Hope you've had a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. Bloodhound claws? Sorry, distracted. <laughs> what? Ooh. 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 Oh, 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 that, oh, that seems good. Oh, that seems good. A little bit heavier. Not as high of scaling. Interesting. Large curved claws used by Bloodhound Knights. The curve allows the weapon to slip through an enemy's guard. That's why. And it has Bloodhound Step by default. It has Bloodhound Step by default. Holy shit. Yeah, that's one hand. That's with that. Yep. Yep. Dual claw. There we go. You can pop that exact moveset. You can pop this. <laughs> <laughs> Chickapoo, how you doing? Yo, thank you for the redeem and thank you for swinging by. And I hope you've also had a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. <laughs> oh, how you doing? Uh, good kind of tired from practice. How you doing? Dude, this has been a crazy fucking evening. Fireproof dried liver. We've This has been a crazy fucking evening because we're fighting like so much cool shit. We're getting... Like, we're getting some... Like, this volcano area is, like, wild. It is fucking crazy just how much is going on in this small area. Like, holy shit. Uh... Yo. Know, uh, the whole practice was... Uh, whole practice went well for you. Like, what were you, what were you working on today? What were you, what, was, uh, what were you working on today? If you don't mind my, my asking. Uh, ooh... Oh. Hey, we found an altar. Hmm. Alright, who wants to attend uh, Blood Church? Who wants to attend Blood Church? There we go! Oh. What? 
Oh, that's how you get in the other side. Let there be... F oh, God. There's even more... That's how you get over that. That's how you get there. Holy shit. <laughs> Is that a lizard person? That's... That's just a straight up fucking lizard. That's a straight up lizard person. Holy shit, and that's a long, that's a long boy. That's a long boy. Oh, God. How do I even hit? Oh, you're tough. Oh, you are tough. You are tough. Jeez. Oh, my fuck. <laughs> Giant pickle. <laughs> Yo, that's it's just straight up fucking lizard people. It's just straight up fucking lizard people. Holy fuck. <gasps> ah! Let there be fire. Holy shit. Holy shit. So that's how you get to the fucking back end. I had a feeling you had to go through the fucking volcano manor in some capacity. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Oh, okay. Okay, and there's something on the other side too. Jeez. Oh, man. That's so fucking cool. Oh, there's an Iron Maiden up there. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. Ah, there's a ah, there's so much going on. There's so much going on. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's so fucking cool. That is so fucking cool. Oh, I thought it was just gonna loop back around itself eventually, but nah, nah. We got we fucking we got fucking shit. Long, long lizard man. <laughs> uh, flip turns and distance per stroke. Oh, like actually trying to maximize how far you pushing yourself with each like stroke, each front stroke. Oh God, yeah, that sounds like a that does sound very strenuous. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Um. Uh, let's see. How? Let's. No, wait. Hold on. Mark it. We'll mark that. Cause I don't think we're. Yeah, we're 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 not gonna be able to have enough time to go through that today. Cause but. Shh, Shit. <laughs> like, fucking accidentally stumbling into an entire fucking backyard of lava and shit. Like, holy hell. Holy hell. Oh, man. Yeah, we're, fu we're fucking getting in on that. We're fucking getting in on all that. Oh, jeez. Oh, right, we need to get the fucking... We need to get the fucking spear as well. Is that upstairs? Was that, was that upstairs? Uh, a lot of arms today. We use gear that makes us use our arms more. Oh, did you... Do you have those, uh, like, uh, float... Uh, the, uh, web... Uh, web gloves? The ones that kind of get... Create more resistance if you're moving... When you're moving your arms through the water? Because I actually have a pair of those. Like, I used those when I was doing more swimming. Like, before the pandemic. Um, yeah, it's definitely helps work. It helps build like upper body strength. Definitely helps build upper body strength. Uh, okay, this is a. Okay, yeah, not up here. What was the fucking room that the spear was in? What was that room that the fucking spear was supposed to be in? Uh, where was where? Which room was it? Which room was it? It's not this one. Cannot open from this side. Uh, love ahead. Okay. Uh, we have pool buoys you put between our legs, not kick. Oh, and then pull the uh, uh, swim paddles. Okay, yeah, that's what they're called. Yeah, the swim paddles. Yeah. Uh. Oh, I just realized. Oh, I just fucking realized. The corpse is there to kind of show you. That these things are what are living in the walls. And I guess, yeah, because she also, like, what's her name? Raya also tells you that she's been hearing stuff in the walls lately. So that's the other hint. That's the other hint. Oh, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Is she, is she here? Is she here? Did, did she move? Did she switch location? Hello? 
Hello? Did, I I guess I guess she moved elsewhere. Uh oh! Um Hi Brave Tarnished What is your business here? I'm afraid this is not a guest room What's that peculiar look upon your face? Goodness Am I still a serpent? Oh how dreadful How dreadful indeed oh, Forgive my distress I ought to be thanking you for treating me as usual, despite this appearance. Brave Tarnished, this is my true form. My real name is Zorias. Please forgive the deception. Do understand. This duplicity is my own doing. Lady Tanith speaks no falsehoods. And the Volcano Manor is just as it seems. have questions I have questions <laughs> new friends yes yeah, I mean same friends new look <laughs> yeah apparently okay so I think I may have seen something like this like pop up in someone's like art piece but I didn't really really make any connection into like what the fuck was going on, but apparently this is what the fuck is going on. <laughs> so she was Raya's like was like using the glamour or something. Oh, that explains why she was slumped over all so much. That explains why she always had like that slumped over posture. She was trying to like hide her. Okay, no, it's her head. It's her head that's part of it. So when she slumped over. Yeah, she's like she's mimicking the way her head is. That's wow. Okay, holy shit. It's kind of cute. It kind of is actually a, a little bit, a little scary at first, but like, yeah, like, like bipedal salamander type creature. It kind of is kind of cute now, actually. Lady Tanith is my mother. Mother. I was born by the grace. Of a glorious king, that my mother cherishes this form I inhabit. I am proud of what I am, but people are cruel. If they saw my true form, they wouldn't speak to me. And so I assume a guise when seeking new recruits. You know what? That's fair. Like the rest. That's fair. That's totally fair. My serpentine form and the name Zorias. The secrets Zorias. known only to Lady Tanith and I. Now I share the secrets with you as well. Please keep them safe from anyone else. Y y yeah, no, My sure. Time for the secrets. Now I share the secrets. <sighs> I guess when we uncovered that secret passageway, like accidentally, yeah, she moved here. Raise the precious item. My serpent was secret. Now I share the secrets. Please keep them safe. Damn, you are tall. You are really fucking tall. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, it's got the little cape on and everything. Uh, on that note, I'm going to head out and dream about talking lizards. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, I'll stop by when I can. No worries, Kami. Thank you for swinging by. And pleasant. Uh, have a good rest and pleasant nightmares. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I was not expecting that holy shit like that was a fucking turn so you've blooded your sword in the hood then i shall introduce myself once more banal banal recusant just like you recusants have particular battle arts styled to our methods of slaughter why not add some to your repertoire oh shit you're a fucking shop 
Holy fuck! You've come to understand now, eh? To take power and make it his own. The recusant must hunt his own kind. To raise the flag of revolt against this sanctified pillaging, we recusants must become the most wretched of predators. All you can do is laugh. Hmm. What do you have? Okay, we got a couple here. Uh, grants of eruption. Skill of the knights who serve at the Volcano Manor, slam armament into the ground, spo spawning roiling lava which spouts up upon release. Usable on large and colossal swords, axes, and hammers. Sure. And Assassin's Gambit. Uh, masks the user's presence at the cost of a self-inflicted wound, grants near invisibility, and silences footsteps. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, and it gives a cult. Ooh, that actually... Oops, excuse me. That actually seems pretty good. Well. Okay, so he's a pretty cool. He's a little gruff, but he's actually pretty chill. Oh. Well. Yeah, he's actually kind of chill once you get once he once he kind of gets to know you. Wild. Dude, this place is fucking crazy. In short seek armament. Why are you naked? Uh, I wonder if the lady has anything to say about that about this now. But I know the secret. Uh, oh yeah, we can actually bring it up with her. The girl, Raya, with her true face. Well, if she confided in you the name Zarias, then perhaps it is not my place to speak. But as her adoptive mother. Adoptive mother. Yeah, there we go. Please, be kind to her. Look after young Zarias. Her true visage belies the purity of her heart. Honestly, I hardly deserve the sweet child. Aww. Aww, that's, act that's really sweet. Please, be kind to her. Her true visage belies... That's really sweet. I was Yeah, adoptive daughter makes more sense, because I was about to say, like, did she fuck a lizard? Did she like actually fuck a lizard? <laughs> Cause then at that point, cause then I was gonna be like, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Okay, yeah, that's actually really sweet. That's really sweet. My serpent the secret. Now I share please keep them. Yeah, that's really sweet. Okay, yeah. Hope you don't mind. I'm probably gonna have to murder more of your kid when we go back into the backyard area. Okay. Who do you find that fucking weapon, though? It said it was in the Lord's Chambers? Maybe I haven't have to, like... Maybe I need to move up in the ranks or something like that. Maybe that's what I need to do before I'm able to, like, grab that sword. Oh, she's... Oh, she shifted back. My serpent on the secret. Oh, so maybe, she, oh, so maybe she shifts between one form and another. Another when you come in and out. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see. Anything new now that I've sat now down? Are, I am pleased. Okay. Yeah. Same dialogue as before. I have no idea where that other Lord's Chamber is. I haven't even. I don't even know what serpent that spirit was even referring to or like Praetor Rikard uh okay yeah Zora's the scout yeah her name fully changed her name updated uh oh actually yeah oh you're right there huh you're you are right there okay um let's see oh god yeah we're yeah, we are going to need to be calling a night soon, but uh, let's see. Alright. Let's see if we can grab that dude real fast. We'll grab that dude real fast and see about giving them their invitation. We'll give them their invitation. And then once we do that, then we'll figure out what to do with all of these runes. And we'll call it a night. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Because, yeah, it's like, I'm really curious. I'm really curious to see how far this goes. I am 
fully invested in the volcano rabbit hole. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, oh, God's right. The crabs. Right. The crabs. Uh, wait. Hmm? Oh, right. The, oh, no. Those are nobles. Those are nobles. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Much farther up. Much farther up. Right. We ran through here previously. Just keep running. Just keep on running. Just keep on running. Ah, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Invade Raleigh the Idols world. Yeah, so as long as we don't run into someone that we actually, like, know, then so far we should be... Oh, you're right here. Oh, you do bleed. All right. Ow. Oh, you do rot. Okay. Fuck. Whoop! There we go. Aha! Here's your invitation. Telegram for Mr. Riley. Telegram for Mr. Riley. Telegram for Mr. Riley. Dear Mr. Riley, stop. Get wrecked. Stop. Signed, Volcano Manor. Uh, 25 cents to collect. <laughs> Prepus Vile. And some black key bolts. The fuck is Vile? Prepus Vile? Uh, is that a key item or something else? Uh, Prepus Vile. Uh, what was that? What was that? Uh... Hmm... What the fuck? What the fuck did I pick up? No... Was it a talisman? Uh... Let's see... Uh, okay, Earth Tree. It looked like a talisman, but I'm not really sure. Uh, let's see. There's attack power. Crepus talisman. Oh, there it is. Eliminates all sound made by wear during movement. Ah, stealthy. Ritual implement used by round table hold assassins. There was a time when Tarnished, who had strayed from guidance, feared nothing more than utter silence. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, that that would be kinda that would be kinda threatening, actually. Hmm. Alright. Sup? I see you for here is your usual room. Ooh, serpent bone blade. Perhaps the time has come to tell you hmm? the true ruler of this manor, Lord Rikard. I've the had that name, heard that name come up. Grace, but it was all too meager in the face of the enormity of their task. The tarnished were forced to scavenge, squabbling for crumbs, like the shard bearers vying for power in the wake of the shattering. Our lord, indignant, has refused to scurry about, fighting over what miserly scraps they allow us. If the earth tree, and indeed the very gods, would debase us so, then we are willing to raise the banner of resistance, even if it means heresy. HERESY! We at the Volcano Manor, under Lord Rikard, have sworn no rest until it is done. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. 
The Lord's visits with our champions are always a spectacle. It cannot come a day too soon. <laughs> you seem pretty excited about this. You follow this hero. It cannot come a You seem pretty excited about this. Hmm. Oh, you're back. I talk to you again? Worthy tarnished. I left the serpent slaying spear in the Lord's chamber. It Lord's is chamber. the only thing that can kill that horror. Run it through. The great serpent, that unspeakable monstrosity. So we're kind of getting some conflicted messaging here. A red letter. Uh. Uh, Juno Hoslo, Knight of Blood. Can be found in the mountaintops of the giants. Find the red mark on your map. You okay, yeah, we're not able to get. Oh, gods. Oh, gods. Yeah, I had a feeling, but just. <laughs> Yeah, we're not we're not even there right away. We're not even there for the moment. I knew you had it in you. Take this. Oh? Letter to burn all. A special invitation to hunt some of the first tarnished who sat at the round table hold. Yeah! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh! Oh, Mr. Chicken Doodle! Holy shit! Thank you so much for the raid! Chicken Invasion! Ah! <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Chicken Doodle. Thank you so much for the raid. Holy shit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, here we go. Get that shout out going. There we fucking go. How you doing? Playing Tower of Fantasy. Ooh, what is that? I'm not really familiar with that. Is that, what is that? It, it's what is that if if you don't mind my asking and how was your stream how was your stream hope you enjoyed yourself with that <laughs> uh how is elden ring treating you treating you treating this pretty fucking well because we i made the i made today focused on like looking in the vault looking around the volcano area so i made the decision to just go Hey, let's go ahead and join the vault join up with the volcano matter they seem like pretty interesting folk <laughs> they seem like pretty interesting folk. And yeah, this this has been leading me down a fucking rabbit hole of crazy shit. <laughs> uh, it's a new game that came out today, kind of like Genshin Impact. Does it have less of the gotcha elements? Does it have less of the gotcha elements? Because then I might be intrigued in, like, taking a look at it. <laughs> Uh, stream was fun. Glad you're having a great time. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed. Glad you had a good stream. I'm glad you had a good, good stream. <laughs> oh man! Welcome Raiders. I am Sawin. I am a Wraith VTuber and horror content creator. I play a lot of horror games and games with horror themes. And you'll see me playing things like Monster Hunter, for example, or tonight Elden Ring. <laughs> Oh, I also do things like horror, horror story ASMR, and and the last Friday of every month we have a night called Cemetery Cinema where we watch a classic horror movie on Twitch. So, if any of that seems right up your alley, then feel free to grab a blanket, turn down the lights, and get cozy. Cut, and also. Thank you so much again for the ra for the raid, Chicken Doodle. Oh man, uh, kind of seems like the raids are better, and it's only weapons, not characters and weapons, so it seems less brutal. Okay, that's not as bad at the very least. That's not at as bad at the very least. <laughs> well, that's good. Um, oh, it's you. Forgive me. My mind never ceases to turn of late. Hmm. Well. I know I can trust you. I saw something slithering in the pitch black of night. It entered the room next to this one. 
and never came out. Oh. I'm not mistaken, it took the form of a serpent, just like me. Does the volcano manor hide some secret? Oh, okay. I realize that I shouldn't impose, but if you discover anything, would you please share? Mmm. Interesting. I, sh I feel like we should tell her. I feel like we should tell her. I uh, love that. I'm glad you enjoy it. That's like, people love that. People love to see the jitters. People love to see that. And it's always fun to do. <laughs> uh, very tired. Sorry to raid and dash, but love the stream. Glad to see you again. No worries. No worries. We're probably going to be calling it a night here as well in a few minutes. Because we found the backyard. We f did find the backyard of the manor. And it's, there's some shit back there. There's very much some shit back there. So... We will likely save that for next time, for sure. We will save that for next time. Oh, uh, but yeah, you take care. Thank you again for the raid, Mr. Chicken Doodle. Have a good rest and pleasant nightmares. <laughs> I suppose we should go ahead and tell her. Really? Oh, so there was a secret after all. Oh my, Lady Tanith, my own mother, has deceived me. Was I not? by the grace of a king. Mm. Lady Tanith, was I not home by the grace? Yeah, okay, so I guess so I guess getting one of those marks is what we cause her what causes her to shift first, and then she gives you the hint of the secret passage, which is it like that's a whole nother like level. We kinda did so we kinda did things a little bit out of order, but it's fine, it's fine. If you follow this, it cannot. Uh, yeah, Zora's troubles. That? To you, I should have known something was wrong. The signs were clear enough. Well, Zoraeus has placed her trust in you. All the more reason I must tell you that some things are better left unknown. Besides, no one should be blamed for their heritage. Think about it. We are resisting the ways of the Erd Tree itself. What matters one's lineage in such a crisis? I feel like there's something deeper going on here. I feel like there's something deeper going on here. That the queen, queenie here is not, yeah, Tanith is not telling us. And it involves that back area. It very much involves that back area. Well, we can't get the next mark until we... Oh, oh, there's another one. Oh, that's a request. Oh, right. That was for... That one was for, like, the fucking tournament. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and go back to the round table. Burn some of these runes. Uh, let's check, kind of double check and see if anything else has developed around here. Uh, do, do, do. Hey, Gideon, you got anything more to say? You, to you fucking asshole. You may be out. Uh, nothing new. All right, Bill, continue, continue being a terrible father. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think I got everything from these already. Uh, yeah, I got everything from these already. I suppose I can go back to that one merchant and then just, like, stock up on other shit. Uh, because, yeah, we got all this. Uh, ba 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 Not really too much else I really need to get outside of... Yeah, thin beast bones. We can get some of these. We can definitely get some of those for crafting purposes. Uh... About it there. I'm gonna need to stock up on fucking uh, pinions though to make the make the better ones. That's the only thing. Uh, how are you holding up? Are you here for spirit tuning? Uh, let's see, spirit tuning. I'm gonna need to stock up more on some of these other uh 
bits and bobs. Uh, do, 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 do. uh let's see. Let's see, perfume Trisha, Harmon. Low is definitely pulling their weight. Well, what about you? you? Uh, let's see, Ashes of War. Um, I can't ch change these. I can't change this. So let me see. I wonder if I can. What can I put on this? What can I put on this? Uh, let's see. Quick step. Uh, Raptor of the Mists. That might be something. What is that one? Oh, no, because this is an axe. Like, it's not going to have the same fucking stuff available. Um, Let's see. I guess we could do... Yeah, we could probably pull it on this and then make it go... Uh, put it to a cult. That might be useful. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's actually look at some of the other stuff. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Ooh. Ooh, here we go. Ooh, yeah, here we go. I can get another level of this for the Grave Scythe. Yeah, it's... Oh, here we go. Next tier. Next tier. 20. Fuck yeah. 21. 21. Ooh, yeah. 22. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, so close. I need more tier 8 smithing stones. I need more tier 8 smithing stones. Oh, man. We're fucking... Well, we're close, though. We're getting close. We're getting close. <laughs> oh, man. We are, get, we are in fact, getting there. Uh, what else we got? What else can I ma uh, mess with? Uh, the rapiers. Ra the rapier... Ra bleh, rapier. Rapiers. Uh, I can probably switch one of these around, actually. Hmm. Because I can't really use that. Um, unless I grab one of these and make them arcane scaling. Like what I did with this. Uh, the, there's the S stock. Uh, Noble's S stock. Let's see. Ah, uh, clean rot knights. Uh, mainly used as a backup weapon. Okay. So. Yeah, I probably pair it with an with an S stock, perhaps. Uh, that one does have a much higher, and it's already plus nine, so it's like that's already on a good spot. Hmm. Wonder if I can. Let's see. Hold on. Can I pair a regular thrusting sword with a heavy thrusting sword, or are they just two completely different categories? Oh, we also got the fucking pole blade. So that's another thing we can mess with. <laughs> There's just so many fucking options. There's so many fucking options. It's like, it's crazy. It's crazy how many options we have. It's crazy how many options we have. Oh my god. Oh my fucking. Uh, let's see. Okay, okay. Um, so if I pair it with, like, out this, and then we'll swap in the dex thing. Uh, oh, fuck. Ah, fucked it up. I fucked it up. So, that on the first hand. And then, this is just an experiment, because, like... We're just gonna try and experiment with something real quick. Yeah, with bloody Ellison offhand. And let's go ahead and get on over to this side over here. We're just gonna try one thing, because I feel like it's gonna consider these like two different weapon categories. Yeah, they're considered two different weapon categories. Unless there's like something like we what we found with the uh, wakizashi, where it's like it's meant to be used on the offhand, it's a dagger. But if you wear, pair it with a katana, it allows you to do the uh, dual katana move set. So unless we can find something like that, then maybe something to consider. Yeah, this, however, this allows us to do all that. That allows us how to do that. How big is the S stock? 
How much is the S-Stock? Okay. Yeah, about comparable. 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 <laughs> uh, very much comparable. Very much comparable. Okay. Stuff I'm going to have to mess with off stream, more than likely. Stuff that I'm definitely going to have to mess with in the off stream. Because, yeah, it's like, I want to try and... I should try want to try and switch things up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. What kind of ash can I put on this? Well, I took you for no matter. Out, you're out. Cause okay, it do, okay, it does require regular smithing stones. Um okay, that's right. But I can only purchase up tier two, can't I? That's the only thing. I don't have access to the higher tier. Yes, uh, Rogers might actually be a better direction to go in. Hmm. Well, it's already a plus nine, so let me see. What can I apply? Uh, what can we apply to it? Burp, burp, burp. So I definitely want to use that, but it's like, I want to give that spin, but I want to try and find something I can actually, like, apply to it. Ooh, that's right, I can use that. Use that. Um, or I can apply bleed to it. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Decisions? It's still B in deck scale. Actually, it's. Uh, let's see. I put that off the, on for now. Uh, okay. Yeah, we can actually. Yeah, that actually causes it to do B scaling in decks. That's, actually, that's wild. That is actually wild. Okay, and then if we do a cult, then it does the shifts to B. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, there's some fucking wild ass options we can actually work with here. There's some actual options that we can try to work with. Hmm. There's definitely stuff to consider. Definitely stuff to consider. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Sorry, my throat's starting to go out. Blah. Yeah, I think my throat's starting to go out, so yeah, we should probably go ahead and call it before before we get too distracted with everything. Before we get too distracted with shit. Oh, uh, you only have... Yeah, you only have the tier 2 stuff for the moment. Uh, we can get some more of these. Because there's definitely more weapons I want to mess with. There's definitely more weapons I'm going to want to mess with, for sure. For sure. Eventually, I'm going to be... I imagine I eventually I'll be able to find Tier 3 and Tier 4, like, and all the other fucking smithing zones that we can, like, just buy straight up. Rather than having to, like, manually grind them. But that's stuff we're going to have to save for another day. <laughs> Dude, this has been a fucking really productive session. This has been super fucking productive. Holy shit. Volcano area is fucking wild. Volcano is fucking wild. <laughs> oh, so great. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And yeah, we're, we're definitely going to explore that backyard area next time. Because I am fucking invested right now. I am so fucking invested right now. You have no idea. You have no fucking idea. 